No. To be a man in such times is to be amongst untold billions. It's hard. It's hard. Mm. It's hard. It's the coolest and most bloody regime imaginable. It's hard. It's hard. These are the tales of those times. Forget these the are the tales of me? What's good, y'all? I'm gonna like to another banger video. You know what I'm saying? I'm Who are you? I'm Jay the Third. I said it. Dang. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all been asking this for so long, bro. Some of y'all threatened us to knock us out. I was like, who are you talking to? And then, no, you know the craziest part, though? One of them met me in person. No, they didn't. Stop. They did. <laughs> they really, I was in the bathroom, minding my business. Bro came in. Oh, let, let me read that. Let me read that. Hey! Oh, you're a space marine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came out the stone. Oh, shit, he's nine foot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all told us to react, react to Brisky's video about um every single Warhammer 40k yep. fractures explained. But hey, we about to get into this, so let's get into this. As someone who doesn't necessarily serve you the other side, but someone who can appreciate them, you will not be getting my legs today, as I will what? be replacing them with various things kind depending on sense. which faction we are what currently talking about. And a little bit more context. Whoa, what is he cosplaying as there? Whatever the hell I am currently doing. Briskina? So, hello, everybody. I'm my talking name about. is Bricky. Oh, and this is Bricky. going to Bricky be a got long me video up. and a large project right, right, that has been going on for quite some time. This is... I need two hands for this. This is every single Warhammer 40k race in kind of a race nutshell, crazy. explained a little Wouldn't bit of explanation, uh, a little bit of lore, a little bit of talking about the tabletop, mostly lore, what they're all about, and also a little bit of background for those of you who just have no Not clue bro. what Warhammer 40,000 is. Now you see, Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 is a universe people hear plenty of, but don't know a whole lot about. Yeah. You see, oh, there's these dudes in big power armor like with chainsaw swords, and being clean. big old green orcs, and there's some bugs over there, and everyone calls these guys weeds, and then there's these spiky bitches over here, and I, I don't get <laughs> The, the, the name calling them crazy, I'm all like... Start? Well, this video is particularly for you, or for those of you who have a little bit of knowledge, which are kind of curious Heretic about each of the viewers. races and factions in Warhammer. What are you so, about? overall, the Warhammer universe is vast when it comes to lore and background, and each different faction is so different with the things that they Ooh, Chaos them. Demons! I think I'm a human, rock with the Eldar, though. I'm a Chaos human, Demon. Like, no, I'm a rock with the Eldar. Crazy that thing ass. ugly. Electronics on them. You've got aliens and you've Ooh. got the chaos factions, and there's so many. No, that's not me. No, no, I'm, I'm changing my mind. To that embark on this project ugly. to tell you what each and every single one of them is about, and what the Warhammer universe is about as well. To give at least a little bit of an intro. Okay, go on, let's go. Extremely bloated. <laughs> he said this already. Really <laughs> intro world that I and many like have taken. So, I will be explaining every single faction in the Warhammer no, 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 no. Oh, I'm a Chaos Space Marine! Y'all, I'm a Chaos Marine. Space Marine! And some smaller factions here Wait, there. where? I Down there? Oh, I'm a Space, space Dog! Oh, <laughs> yo! yo. The name go crazy. too mega deep into the lore. I'm gonna give you a pretty solid overview Yeah, we don't need all that, bro. Factions. He's still talking about him going to explain the, the lore? Like, the character? Come on! Go, get to the Space Wolves! No, Blood Angels on fire. But for this episode entirely, we are discussing the Imperium of Man. Okay, three of them. Because that man. takes up a fat chunk of Warhammer lore. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. The hey, universe. Is Warhammer what is 40, Warhammer 40K? Well, the 40,000 starts off is the year 40,000. The 41st millennium, mm -hmm. that's where it takes place, is in the year 40,000, 41,000 AD. Right, okay. You're already more knowledgeable. Let me read you a quote, first of many quotes loved, in this video. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred years, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Roman he is the master of face. mankind by the will of the gods and master of a million worlds by the might Bro. of his inexhaustible armies. Dang, he is a rotting crazy. carcass, writhing invisibly with power from the dark age of technology. No, wording crazy. He is the carrion lord of the Imperium, for whom a thousand souls are sacrificed every day so that you he may think I can remember this? truly die. No. To be a man in such times is to be a amongst untold billions. It's hard. It's hard. Mm. It's the coolest and most bloody regime imaginable. It's hard. It's hard. These are the tales of those times. Forget the tell of me? technology and science. No. Oh, no, thank you, forgotten. bro. Let's see what they did. Never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, for in the grim, dark future, That's there the is name. only war. There is no peace no. among the stars, we only an eternity of carnage and slaughter, and the laughter of thirsting gods. 
Danny Everything Evil? blows. And it me? Blows. Everything blows me? About. Me too. Me, I'm right with the you. Most dark. Ooh, those are the sexy things we were looking for. Ever in fiction, I don't or at know. least like like top three. Everything is also. so absurdly horrible, destructive, or overpowered that it all kind of ends up canceling itself out. It's like Dota. War rages. Ain't no one, ain't no one understood you, Joe. No Interstellar that, travel is only possible due to sacrificing a thousand souls a day for uh -huh. a rotting carcass of a man who you believe to be your god. Demonic gods and just demons tear open the fabric of right, reality this is not cool, on a whim. Though. Other Xenos or even other Xenos. humans end up killing each other uh, and kind of clean. billions yeah, right. across the galaxy. It is a time of unending war, slaughter, and a bloodbath amongst everyone. I can't everyone. take a fleet? Planets are deemed unrecoverable and are completely destroyed on a whim. Everything sucks, but that's like the charm of it. See, everything in Warhammer is evil. But being evil is kind of fun. Like, humanity, yeah. in its own right, you is a yeah. Yeah. prejudice and religious zealot group. And racist. kill each other. Yeah, yeah you didn't bring up that part. Like, there's a whole white man killing black people. I mid feel. to high tier evil on the evil. Oh, I'm team. that guy! I'm that guy! Who you are, Bro. everyone is a some flavor, some color of evil. Whoever you pick, I don't you know how you've been the on this guy. Joint, bro. But that's the fun of it. I still didn't hear about a faction. Not yet. <laughs> Villains are cool. Not Those yet. Are cool. Oh no, he about to get into cool it. Like a yeah. cool armies. Villains are cool, man. Yep. And when everyone is a villain, yep. everyone is pretty cool. Everyone actually that's has decent plot. So that's true though. That everyone Anyone can want to see a main character. So let's start off talking about the main bad guy, quote unquote, the Imperium of Man. Mm. Man. Oh, what was the roast? Wait, hold on, hold on. Imperium Gotta go back. He roasted. <laughs> the Imperium of Dude Man. Dude got hurt by you. You know you were spacing me? You actually hurt him. What do you mean? You hurt his feelings a little bit, bro. I mean, they did say I was that guy. They literally put there's different status at the top. I'm not the top. I'm saying the top as I'm that guy. You know, oh, the only thing above me is him. And I, but I'm not him yet, I'm just that guy. Yeah, that guy is like... Who, who's that guy? Mm, you know what I'm saying? I go by multiple personas. You know, sometimes like people sometimes people point at me like, he's him. I'm like, no, I'm that guy. Like, I'm like, not they don't yet. get the status yet. They that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yet. They don't understand. They don't understand the difference. Right him means I'm untouchable. He like, is under this I'm one that guy. flag called the Imperium. And about 10,000 years ago, there was a man. He was the emperor, the emperor of mankind, a 10-foot tall psychic no, demigod who led Why humanity across the stars like to eight. colonize tons and tons of worlds, create superhuman soldiers, and really bring humanity to a new age. This man, he the emperor of mankind, like. he cool. was a psyker, and a psyker is like a magician of sorts. In the world of 40k, there is the warp, the immaterial. I like that armor, like really hell, gold. But sort of like a purgatory know, dimension of hell. And a psyker yeah. is someone who can take that power and manifest it through their mind to use it to That's destroy. Okay, so like, no, this, these are the people, stuff, the space where we fight in uh, Astraides. It is? Yeah, things, the dude with the, the, with the exo the mm, spine. Big boy psyker. Top tier, A plus, maybe even S. Now the emperor created a bunch of sons. Yes, created a bunch of sons. Bro, he didn't even them, bro. He created 20, 18, 18 primarchs to have them lead all of the different Why legions. Why do I see Doomsday? Why do they look so unique? Each one of them. To help I, there's Doc yeah. Doom, These Lex Luthor. Basically like little versions of yeah. the emperor. Not all of them are psychers, but a lot Why? of them are. Ooh, Why was the other guy all black? black he clean. No, no, no. Then this big clusterfuck happened called the Horus Heresy, where the emperor's favorite son, the Primarch, Horus, ended up well, that's, that's the, uh, you and leading nine other, well, I guess eight, nine of the eight. No, I just can't remember. I just can't remember. Of his Primarchs directly to Earth to fight down the Emperor himself. Mm. Now, if you want to know what chaos is, remember what I mentioned bro. earlier? The warp, that immaterium, the hellish place? Yeah. In there relies the four chaos gods. Four. Imagine like Ooh. Satan and three other Satans. The warp that's being clean. kind of evil, those chaos gods, that's no reason. Clean. And so oh, who's the baddie? Manipulated the Horus, for, and then Horus helped manipulate all eight other Primarchs to 
be this later. giant coup directly on the Emperor on Earth. Mm. And they so Horus who? fucked up shit. Dang. After this huge civil war, Horus died, but not before brutally wounding the Emperor. And right at the end of his life, they put the Emperor on this large golden throne on How Earth. How do you live that? In which he is now alive. Just barely, but slowly rotting away, powering something called the Astronomicon, so long as he stays alive and is fed a thousand people a day. That's the actually Astronomicon not that hard. It's like the North Star. If you want to do interstellar travel in 40k, you need to pass through that demonic warp I mentioned earlier. But how do you know where you're going? Well, the Emperor is there putting a nice little navigator right there. He helps navigate you to know where you're going. If you oh, if he go died, everyone did. From dead. Earth yeah. to some crazy solar system across the way, you need to go through that warp, and then you need to know where you're going, go through there, and pop your way out. It's like uh, doing nether travel in, in Minecraft, so you can shorten the distance between going to areas. So yeah, long as the sense. Emperor is alive, and being fed a thousand If he dies, nobody's warp traveling. Alive, you can do this that. man feel pain but every when he day. he dies, interstellar travel's gone for all of humanity. You're so boned. Now, since the Horus Heresy 10,000 years ago, the Imperium has fallen from grace substantially. All Good. technology has started to dwindle and die. There is Good. now they giant fundamental up. religious extremists that now Good. believe the Emperor of Mankind was a deity, a true oh, Good. living god, which is probably the last thing the Emperor would have wanted to be remembered for. Oh, so so that's now the first you have thing this thing remember. called the Ecclesiarchy, which is this yeah. giant church claiming to be a god? Oh, the Ecclesiarchy! The I know that. You do? No, yeah, they're, they're clean. The Holy Emperor God, the God Emperor, of mankind and all of the Imperium has taken up worshipping him to the fullest extent and killing they anything devoted. that isn't humanity in his name. Dude, the Imperium has this futuristic gothic tone to it and a hefty religious zealotry to them. If you think dude, anything against the Emperor, that's heresy and you deserve to die. That is called So if you say anything heretic. about the Emperor Heretics I can't make a joke, bro. There is no such thing as freedom of religion. Okay. There is no such thing as freedom of speech. They got so long as Reddit. you are against the emperor. There is no such thing as any kind of tolerance. Everyone is a religious zealot. Some more than others. But no matter what, you preach in that good So you can just be chilling. So right now, you make a joke about the emperor? Wait, like, dang! You know, it had to be a bad one, too. You just be throwing the stars. If <laughs> Random. you are a heretic, someone who doesn't These believe in the emperor, you are trash. You are the emperor. Like, dang! Dude, that's not the best of the all of that. JP! JP! <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You Let me JK. You are an alien race of any kind. Let me JK. You are a filthy, zealot, 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 However, the largest fighting force of this Imperium is my personal favorite faction, and the first faction we will discuss, the Astra Militarum, or also known as the Imperial Guard. Why is the name name Ricky, though? Game over, man. The Imperial Guard is the main yeah, fighting you. force of the Imperium, and in a world of horrifying creatures, galactic monstrosities, the literal demons themselves like angels, breaking man. through the fabric of time to kill you, the Imperial Guard are untold billions of regular men and women that's us wearing that's our human race day, that's our human like race black armor with a laser rifle this is the humble las gun the main weapon of the imperial that's kind of hard that's hard to it fires superheated plasma lasers at an extremely what? fast fire rate so it's it is reliable so they're just jams. dog soldiers it can blow off limbs giant holes in concrete it is overall an extremely devastating weapon in modern day, it is one of the weakest in the 40k universe. Yeah, a, a laser rifle that they never jams, it could blow off bro. limbs. One of the weakest weapons. That's the world we're in right now. But who cares? Because the Imperial Guard has they have numbers. Each battle 500,000 of these men and women. Well, no. 30,000 large oh. armored tanks, 10,000 artillery us. batteries. The Imperial Guard wins through sheer numbers and firepower. They kind of have this World War no, that, One, World War II savage. style aesthetic with legions of guardsmen as well as high company commanders. And Yo, so they pull up on the battlefield. We all gonna die. Yeah, the ones Imperial in the back may survive. Hey, hey, we gonna take as much as we can, boy. Long lines of artillery, cracking the crust 
of the planet underneath the enemy's feet. Wait, what? They're, and he's saying they basically they're like if ants really wanted to kill of you. Thousands of guardsmen. Facts. See, because they be see of guardsmen surges forward, firing and charging at everything possible, while the planet. Imagine being a commander of like 500 people at a time. No, Jay, 500 the sun and tanks million. Right, right, right. The dirt with the steps of footprints of millions of guards. The best one. It is through numbers and sheer sundering firepower. They they are the guardsmen, the they're, they're basically an ant mentality. The I'm just saying. A huge bulk of the battle. That's actually the hard. The Imperial Guard is also made up of tons of different kinds of regiments. The Katachin jungle oh, Rambo. Rambo. live in a death world that's more hospitable than almost any firefight they'll ever get. Yeah, Predator, into. Alien with so Predator. So they have this steroid looking giant Yo. knife Rambo Predator looking sons of bitches See? where nothing is anywhere near as scary as a simple knight on their home planet. You have the Valhallen Winter Soldiers who haven't felt their They look like they they're trash. Years. About no. the raid the Germans or something. Iron Guard. All these people garbage low key. Only the Rambo looking ones kind of cool. Battle. And then, of course, the big one. No, these are the dogs. These are dog soldiers. From All of them got scars. Media. <laughs> the biggest export of guardsmen in the entirety of the Imperium. You will fire your first gun at five. You will disassemble and reassemble it at 10. It got me you smart. Just five? Got me. Jay, Jay, did you fire your first gun at two? It was one. Yeah, you and you'll fight your first Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot. 16. But it's like, you was turning two though. KDA, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what was that creature? I just, you, you fight some at, at 16? You, and then that. of course the big one, the Cadians. From Katie into the crazy name. Katie. We used to be we used to be uh, the Rambodians. <laughs> the biggest export of <laughs> they don't know about that, though. in the entirety of the Imperium. You will fire your first gun at five. Mm. You will disassemble and wow. reassemble so it. like average though. You will, have you will reassemble it at ten. That's preschool stuff. <laughs> and you'll fight your first swarm lord at sixteen. And sixteen. If you it's an average, like if a numbers game, you know. Amount of tears they wasn't. They didn't grow up like we did. Like bro. We grew up in that middle court. part right there. I have at my command an entire battle group of the Imperial Guard, fifty regiments, including specialized drop. And what are these paragraphs from the person? Stealthers. Organized formations, armored companies, combat engineers, and mobile artillery. Mm -hmm. Over half a million fighting men and thirty thousand tanks and artillery. Dang. Pieces are mine to command. Emperor, show mercy to the fool that stands against me, for I shall not. The Imperial Guard yeah, we grew up as one of the favorite these. faction in 40 That was days. almost hard. They're the army I collect the most, yeah. the ones I enjoy that was hard, the most, and the one I enjoy in the lore sense a lot. There's something about they a regular man with a laser rifle being told to charge the horrors of this universe and willingly doing so. It's something about freaking a million of them doing it, bruh. And willingly so and actually they surviving. Actually represent the main Imperial Guard tactics pretty well. Large amounts of artillery that doesn't require a line of sight, lots of tanks, tons of infantry, drop yep. troops and gunships. Overall they're Pretty similar. Imagine to paying how they $5 for each one of those. They're a little bit expensive to collect, unfortunately. And they don't hit a lot. They have a bit of a bad aim, but you don't really care. What? Because you're just how do you know? shots. However, if you want more accurate fire and specialization, we can move on to talk about Space Marines. You got a list like me, bro. The Angels of Death. Angels cool. Of death Let's next. go. Space Marines Finally. are genetically engineered super soldiers and okay. superhumans. That's They're a crazy given figure. extra organs. Their skin tissue is toughened. Their mm. bones are stronger. I remember we had to do that. They're person. so lanky. <laughs> They're pretty massive people. Because and we had to transition, are remember? Specialized Ooh, whatever they're doing is hard. Where is this from? A lot of the more we gotta watch this. Tasks for the Imperium. They and shot. there's tons of legions of them. In fact, there's one... Her Primarch, the hardest each one Primarch, the Emperor's okay, That's the hard one right there in the lower, far left. Oversees their legion of space That marines. green, that the dark green one, fire. The they get is based on the genes of said Primarch. It's something called a gene seed. Mm. That's what brings them up to this, like, superhuman so level. So they get seeded, each seed has their own legion. Uh, robot, girly man has what? the Girly man? What are you talking about? Icon has the white scars. A robot Dorn has the Imperial Fists. Corvus Corax has the Raven. Oh, oh they're clean! They look weird, though. The Ravens are Clean. So extremely really interesting clean. and have a little bit more of a twist. That was clean. Bottom right there, Lee, the yeah, Legion. Yeah, he's letting his nuts hang. Curiously enough, right. I don't have a whole lot to say about Space Marines. They're superhumanly fast. In, in fact, it's been said that nothing that large should move that quick. 
These men in power are moving at blazing fast speeds. Their reflexes are faster. Their skin is tougher. They are overall just extremely well, they're powerful. Savage. Ooh, damn. In fact, dude, where, where are these animations? How, why are we not finding these animations? Legion we're talking about. For instance, the Ultramarines done by Robot Girlman and Gilliman Gil 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 are the main blue boys. Strong in almost every way. The jack of all trades kind of group that are. Okay, little so these are the ones we mainly be seeing. Lore problem, the blue dudes. Uh, the blue white scars by Jagatai Khan are all about speed. Oh, they seem like Max, fast, uh, attack, Max Payne type doing. Okay, so white white scars kind of suck. They just want to want nut fast. Are, you want they do swarming around like buzz flies, buzz buzz saw, buzz saws, with the speed of buzz saws. Bro, yeah, he's out, reading bro. his notes. Fuck you, Pale King. Salamanders <laughs> love fire. Skip writer. Fire in the forge, fire in battle. Flame yeah, like these melts a guns, multi melts. They clean, Just but I don't think it seems burning, effective. That's big. And they're also yeah. actually some of the nicest of the Space Marines. Damn, a lot of Space my, Marines me, have bro. this kind of like holier than thou thing. Now I'm going to take that because like, that's why I integrated with so much. Salamanders tend to put human yeah, lives the above the lives of themselves, which is that's, actually rather rare. Yeah, they humble people. That's me, bro. But not like just regular. Yo, they all black, bro. They're all black. I mean, black. we knew that, though. Cause like, we knew that. He was one of them. Like, no, when they took us and we, they put us in the swampland, you know what I'm saying? turn tar. Like, come on, bro. It's hard to get your skin back when you turn black, one of these. Like, like 2 a.m. line at a white castle. Black. Like, they have a charcoal, Yo. dark, ashy exterior and blazing red eyes. No, that's a black man. Yeah. That's definitely that a black man. That was a black man right there. The oh, one on the far left. Sense, but who cares? This is like fantasy land anyway. Overall, salamanders are actually the like salamanders are clean. Legions because no, they're right. just really cool. They're fun to play as because of all their flamer weapons, and they have a nice, like, more heartwarming lore as opposed to Picking being up your dead homie like sad, bro. Uh, oh my god, bro. we're not even a quarter of the way through the Space Marine Legion. What? Uh, Imperial fists believe in the power of the siege and defensive positions. Uh, Raven guards, masters Raven of stealth guards. and sabotage while like. having burn helmets. Iron hands, masters of machines and vehicles while being really goddamn good at being sold on eBay after one what? Earth. Space wolves, uh, vikings, Ooh! wolves, and tons of wolves and, and axes. So they're more berserker type. Space wolves, so angry. I remember when I joined them, Bloody I was 10. Uh, it was, it was, it was, I was 10. It was a unique experience for you. Like they, You told me all about it. Remember, remember remember, I told you they said like in order to join I had to kill their captain. And they Got said because like they, they Your they, first they, day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I you know with no armor, he had armor. He tried to hit me. You know what I'm saying? He, they, he was part of the salamander. They didn't think of that. Like, that that's what I'm saying. Like, and yeah. they said they said you ain't that good. Sleep. Yeah, and I had him doing the whole Michael Jackson split and then you know what I'm saying? Kind of in a slump. They told me to take his armor because I'm him. I took his armor and they said, okay, next you gotta fight 20 wolves. Or ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? Had their coat, coat I made them my B, made it with one, and I had a kid. It was that just like that. Yeah, that's the part. Of that's where you came in. No, 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 that's like, that's no, like that's when you joined. Though. Like you joined when I was like, like, you know, doing my mating joint. I joined by left immediately after, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be on my evil tip. <laughs> Nah, bro. They, I can't. I can't believe they didn't tell my backstory. Crazy yeah. called the Red Thirst. The most they have famous human one. wings and stuff. It's a little bit strange, and they are all super gay for Sanguinius. What? Dark angels are old. Oh, you didn't have to mention that part. Yeah, like, inner circle theme. And that's the one I liked. It. The dark. Are you a heretic? Me? No, never. <laughs> Watch me blue my nose. Death Watch, a fancy fancy Xenos group that nobody plays because Death Watch and look cool though, but no one, no one plays them. I don't know Why? about Death Watch. They're, they're, they're there though. Black Templars, for Ooh, the people who if you have upgrade at least three times a day, you're going to start praying out that airlock. And I'm sure there's some other chapters I may have missed as Yo, well. Yo, why is there so much? Stuff, but those are there the main no way. ones right here. Here, here. Quote from the Emperor himself. They shall be my finest warriors, these mm. men who give of themselves to me. Like clay I shall mm. mold them, and mm. in the furnace of war God. I shall mm. forge them. They shall be Dang. of iron will and steely sinew. In great sinew. armor I shall clad them, and with the mightiest weapons shall they be armed. Ooh. They will be untouched by plague or disease. No sickness shall blame them. They're making they shall have tactics, super soldiers. strategies, and machines that no foe will best them in battle. It's higher they beings. are my bulwark against the terror. They are my defenders of humanity. They are my space marines, and they shall know no fear. Mm, I remember when I, t I said that. I remember when I said that. I said that, please. The best trick. Transformers. Dude, you didn't yeah. make that one up that time. You gotta, you gotta take that one. You can't. Like, I, I remember when I said that that uh, that decree. You know what I'm saying? He said it. He said it. 
hard. As they of what? making this video, Space they Marines said, oh, they'd be hard. Really strong. That might change at some point. But overall, Space Marines just have the, it's like a Swiss Army knife, a tool for anything you need, except it's like a gold-plated Swiss Army knife. Mm -hmm. It is extremely strong. If you are actually getting into the tabletop of Warhammer, Space Marines are a great start. Also, whatever gameplay style you have, now I'm about to go with the green you ones. You sit back with long Salamander, range, heavy weaponry, yeah. or the, the dark green ones, in, or even just full melee. All of these options. Stop. Are totally you know that? You know what I'm Space Marines yep. are know, super yeah. badass, but unfortunately, it's time we start praying to our new god, the 2011 Honda Civic. So, is it any wonder? That yeah, I do. I'm not worried about, about it. The Adeptus Mechanicus. Nice, the Adeptus Mechanicus are a technophile cult on Mars. Cult now, crazy. these people are a little bit weird because they don't actually really believe in the Emperor of Mankind. Okay. And you might so think, oh, whoa, 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 Berkey, that sounds like some heresy. A little bit. They believe in the Emperor. They believe in his power. But, but they, like they don't pray bro. to him. They pray to something called the Omnissiah. Oh, no. Nah, the bro. Omnissiah is this kind of machine god they believe permeates in all machines. And if you think, what? well, wait a minute. They believe in a different god as well? That sounds like super heresy. Well, yes-ish. But they They're also useful. make all your guns. That's what I'm saying. And they make all your tanks. Okay, bro, and why bro look at me like that, I don't know, it looks like he's trying to seduce me or something. So you bro. can't really tell them to fuck off? Probably right. Be it's crazy, because so like, they're like, oh, bro, we're really religious, we're prejudiced. Yo, if we if, if you don't pray to our God, you don't pray to our emperor, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on site immediately. Yeah. But it's like, hey, hey man, we, we make y'all gear. That's true, that's true, that's true. And we would believe in him somewhat. He good. Everybody, everybody. He, he just said he said your God's a goofy. He valid. He, he good. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? If they're making this for me, I might I might have to fly. I, I said, said fly. ignore it. I'm like, bro, chill. I'm like, yo, chill. Why are you wicked out of you, bro? <laughs> not gonna win nothing if you don't got stuff to shoot people with. See, their Omnissiah at least makes sense from their like, standpoint. What, what? They believe it to be a deity that permeates through all machines. That's crazy. Your Honda Civic, your standard have bolt gun, your Dune Strider Walker, your giant what? mechs, your huge ships. That's the ugly the Omnissiah is present through all. And the only reason your stuff works is because them? the machine spirit in it says it works. If you want your gun to crazy. work, your huh? tank to run, you must pray to it. And that I mean, crazy. full stop. You need to start chanting in high gothic. You need to what? burn incense. You need to sit on your knees and pray to this that This has to be the worst one. You need to rub oil on your world. This has to be the worst one. What? Homina, 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 homina. This has to be the worst one. Full stop. If you want your damn That's why we didn't rock with them. Does that actually how do they use they the machines? Very or is that just them? That's how. That's what they think. The moment they wake up. Obviously working. And if you look at them, I don't know how that works. So they obviously what? know something about what they're doing. The most notable member of the Adidas Mechanicus that dude is like Arch Magos. Magos. Arch Magos team so clean. Oh, look at this, look at this dude. The weird name. Look at this dude. Sexy yeah. is free. That this is the group we're talking That's about. That's the one that you would die these for. These are these weird names. Here, the Omnissian Creed. The 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 Credo Credo Omnissia. There is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. Mm, there is no hard. strength in flesh, only weakness. That, that's not there hard. is no constancy in flesh, that's true. only decay. Mm. There is no certainty in flesh, but death. Mm. Flesh is weakness. Those, most, mm. of those, most of those hard, most of those hard, but it's still invalid. He said your flesh are goofy. That's what I'm saying, it's still invalid. That's crazy. That's so basically the whole Kree is like, your flesh trash, this is better. Cause bro, they, get, cause they, didn't, get, they didn't get born a robot. I don't see him getting born a robot anytime soon. That's crazy. That's why when I went into the app, this machine kiss, I kind of left that joint. I really didn't rock with it. You didn't join it in the first place. Bro. I know I did. Remember, I did. Like I was in there for one day. I was like a trial. I was doing like a trial period thing, and I, I thought I thought that was goofy. As they almost killed you. No, no, they, they almost did. That you was in their territory. They tried. They tried to sabotage me for real. That's why I, I left. They 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 thought I was even there. I tried to put that past me. I tried to put that past me, bro.
I don't, I ain't rock with them. I don't be worried about it. I don't rock with them, bro. The Omnissiah is the god of the machines, and if you wish to be whole, if you wish to be holy, if you wish to give unto him, if you, you must saw down sad. your limbs and remove your organs and replace them with mechanical parts because that is what he wants, and that is how you will become enlightened. Hard techno want to be born. They be fighting? Oh, they be boxing! Oh, dang. That is Mechanicus. Now, for their army side of things, okay. they are with the Skatari. The Skatari operate with very bizarre weaponry and lots of different kinds of vehicles, tanks, and different They'd be chilling. in between. They're very weird, They'd be killing. Uh, but they have extremely They'd wacky and, and enjoyable, and actually, in fact, quite effective both in the real game Don't and in the war, weaponry, and gear. Overall, as an army on the tabletop, they're very weird and have a whole bunch of different shenanigans. But if you like kind of that quirky, wacky techno thing, I'd give them a pick. I could barely see the Hell, other ones. They're so paranoid. Like, I gotta keep going. They're so paranoid and crazy. These Dune Striders you see right here, That's one guy kind of hard. was able to make them work. One guy, and he died. And they're so scared, they'll never work again, that they keep them on and they never turn them off. And what? they run around in a circle the whole time until they need them, and then they corral it, and they go to battle. They scared like that? Yep. Yes, answer my question. Now, if you want to talk They're about, they're so scared faith, that they will never work again. That they cool, keep them cool. on for. Let's talk about the sisters of battle. Ooh, they are. Ha! That's the so what, what? The sisters of battle of the. All right, guys, lock in. Sororitas, if that's how I pronounce. Lock in. You try to lock in some female else. group of battle sisters going through well, they have the human ecclesiarchy flesh. section of the Imperium. The ecclesiarchy is, of course, the church. This is imagine a private army. Of the church. It's really kind of hard. Which is scary, and it is. The sisters. They could take my last gun any day. Extremely zealotous force. Bro. And they take this to a full extreme. That's going to be They believe you. in three main things I'll be in pleasure. Faith, martyrdom, and fire. Through the bolter, the flamer, They're clean. and the melta, the sisters of battle Melta's are extremely potent. What he's wearing is crazy right now. Politics. Mainly heretics, because as they are a fighting section of the Ecclesiarchy Church, Ecclesiarchy. that's the big thing they want to kill. Any heretic. form of heretic oh, yeah. will face the Emperor's justice through those three. So they more righteous. The Bolter, the Flamer, and the Melta, and they will do so with extreme prejudice. Literally. They are the closest things we have Women. to nuns in space. And I'm talking hardcore nuns. They carry holy fire. On their backs, yeah, that's they clean. have holy like books and sigils. All that book is infused for arm. Their though. main battle tank is a fucking pipe organ missile launcher. They have what? small babies that they have like removed their brain capacity to make them little servant cherubs to fly around and give them ammunition. These people are shit. down horrendous. They bro. drop churches from low orbit as mini drop pods onto battles that's their they drop. drop churches that's actually hard. into battles that's probably the hardest and drop blare war hymns and holy music from their frigates in low atmosphere and shower holy water bro that's actually they hard. said they said when we get in the battle you gonna pray to this you are dealing with yeah. and they're fucking awesome they think they're they coming down stay the freak is that some ugly you don't want to be on the tabletop because their faith is that strong Remember the warp, the demons from the warp? No, well, I don't remember that. The warp that. also manifests in your mind. All of your emotions, negative and positive, go through the warp. It's the immaterial, Dang, the so place just of anything. all things. So if you are that mentally fortified, that mentally strong, Dang, bro, you can you have stave the off it's a girl. horrified Him. demons. And all girl. these girls, oh. And they're all girls. Not crack. Him right there. Not that dude in the middle. The dude talking. Now, no, the mean, dude in the back. What are you talking about? Talk about her. Their models look a lot like Ongo, I mean, him. Not even Ongo, Gabloglian. Yeah. Which I can't unsee anymore. I gotta say, I love their design. Me I too. No, no, like, those, those actually they're are the best female design in this world. Those are my queens. They just released a whole new line of figures very recently, and they look... They just released new figures of them? This is a Those year are, ago. I'm not going to lie. Hold on, hold on. That's clean. I might have to get that one. The one with the the pipe organ. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I might have to get that one. And uh, the, the girl oh, with the... She, she had the half mask on, the gas mask on. Right there holding oh, the I big D. Yeah, she looked clean as free. You she might, might have to hold my missile launcher. 
<laughs> no, 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 I'm about, I'm about heresy, to say. Bro. She gonna hold hold you. on, there's no heresy, bro. She's gonna kill you in the goddamn spot. Me and her gonna link up. No, nah, but like, I'm about to say, like, it's like back in the day, back in the day, this is like when I became like a, a Space Wolf. Remember that? I became a Space Wolf. And. I remember I, I went I went down to I went down to where they they spot at. It was over here Braden joint over here trying to be clean. I came in there. I came in there. You know what I'm saying? They were told. They said I gotta ask them for support in the battlefield. Well, you know what I'm saying? They supported my nut. You know what I mean? Like I, we went there Terrible and people. and for the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? They they did some crazy. This yeah, is a crazy. No I, I can't I can't say it though because they told me to vow of silence because they said they can't let them know. <laughs> the sneak links on the side, you know what I'm saying? Bro. You know what I'm saying? They said they said they can't do that because they did uh, the church type joint, but the shoot, they did it for me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I can't back the story. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I recorded a video on the low, but it's yeah. kind of blurry. And joint. Back they story. Can't back story. I don't not believe, believe that, bro. Not believe that. Don't, don't believe, believe that, guys. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. You making some cap stories sometimes. Nah, stop, 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 stop. What, what are you this saying? Might be one of them. No, no. This literally happened. I had like three baddies in there that, that they, they know me. I could call any of them up right now. They know me. Call them. Like she right there, the girl right there with the sword. These aren't and there. doing the girl in the cinematic trailer, she was part of she was part, you know, she was one of my sneaky leaks too. Don't want just, the green eye? Saying, bro. Don't want the green eye. She's part of my sneaky link. You know what I'm saying? I call oh, her up in the sh you know what I'm saying? Every now and then. So some booty. Seen the living the go to literally kind of undying saint from the triumph of Saint Catherine, mm. which is literally a funeral procession as what? a model. Those organ tanks I mentioned earlier. This shit is the most over the top badassery in a lot of the Warhammer universe. And God damn it, is Ain't it over no the top. But Sisters of Battle are so cool. They're clean. While I'm a guardsman at Not heart. Not their style. Oh, this is such a cool faction. By Ultra he's a Shell, Flamer Burst, and Melta Blast, like. the mutant, the heretic, and the traitor alike are cleansed of their sin of existence. So it has been for five millennia, so shall it be until the end of time. Time. And speaking of burning demons. Yeah, there's a new fraction. Speaking of burning demons. I can see. Yeah, these are some Knights looking dudes. Gray is one of my favorite the colors, guys. We're in it right the first now. Army I actually collected back in seventh edition. The Grey Knights are a super secretive a and bulky. much more old school look at power armor knights. Except they are all psychers. All what of them mean? have what does that, that mean? crazy space magic magician. Oh, the external spine people. So they're broken. Guardsmen, there's one Grey Knight. For every wow. ten thousand sisters of battle, there's one Grey Knight. For every thousand oh, some... space marines, there's oh, one Grey Knights are clean. Grey Knight. Grey Knights are the I haven't strongest seen a Grey Knight yet. of the strong, both in mental will Damn. and absolute so strength. Just said... These are space marines that are all high level psychers. All of them high level. Is crazy. So this is why we barely see them. Goal, and that is kill. Demons. They're so OP. The you will barely see one in battle. The demons of so chaos broken, were the broken. number one threat to the Imperium, and he probably is right. However, this group is entirely based on doing that through a mirror. I like that. Tactics. That uh, those two stamps on the same kind of hard. I guess the yes, moon sir. of Titan in the Soul System. The Grey Knights are thrown through extremely rigorous training they and are as sabers? clear kind of, of mind and soul as they possibly can be. Mm. Since the demons of the warp are the blank warp, cartridges. and your mind projects to the warp, people can go insane very fast, especially lower level psychers. These Grey Knights need to be able to harness the warp. They already the fucking up a demon in the back and stay perfectly sane. One of their characters. Same. Also, they, characters they lock into his sanity and stay sane. He has a that's demon crazy. blade, that, the that, black blade of Mahamahama. And he has to have it on him because it tempts everyone nearby, constantly beckoning them. Use they're that, my they're power. that mentally for you. Use my that's strength. OP. Suck my p Whatever the Ooh! Why you consider that, bro? Why you can say that one, bro? Bro, I might have I might have lost through temptation, bro. Bro, you lost. Wait, are they telling me to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. That's not what I meant. That's not what I that's did what I? Was, that's what I'm saying. That's the only thing he was possessing, bro. Man, these people are lucky I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Not nice And so he has to keep it on him all the time as this thing whispers to him. Consistently, Dude, he, and he has to stave it off too much. Forever, he be going crazy being alone in his chambers, 
or on the battlefield, because anyone who gets too close to it might be tempted a little too hard. He is that That's kind of a broken act, though. Wait, so he's that... All the characters in the he's Knights like the pure Ryu like, level status. The only issue and no, is better. that all of them. And Grey Knights have a scorched earth policy, you know, more ways than one. Every time if they they're appear, fighting they're... demons, demons corrupt and make people crazy. So if I'm a guardsman and I'm fighting demons and the Grey Knights arrive... Yes, sir! Interspecies reviews! Interspecies reviewers are gas. That joint gas, bro. That's crazy. Dude. That joint gas, bro. You should not. That joint. I'm waiting for second season. You should not be this hype about. I'm that. ready for second season, bro. They came out with 13 episodes. I'm ready for the second season. That show was trash. No, it's been mad fire. What are you talking about? It was that this joint was so fire, bro. I feel like. And it was funny the crazy how they kept interlocking with each other, bro. I don't know if y'all know, but I feel like Monsters Museum was better. No, Monsters Museum wasn't. It wasn't hitting the same. The government, we need you to look after these high-level dangerous beings. Not dangerous. In your crib. I'm like, come on, bro. What? Though, too, and bro. he didn't want none of that cool? I would have been like these in there, bro. Some people do be breaking laws for that, but. That's what I'm saying, like, bro, he's. But he don't get cozy him. with him. Bro, the spider chick, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Wait, smacker. Like I would have took all of that, cause she, you know, she was trying to violate. So I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, like her. That you gotta get, you gotta get a little the, dominant with her. That reminds me of the, <laughs> the toy chica trying to hide from me. <laughs> I kill all the demons. This is crazy. I'm a risk. And so, guess who's not making it out of there? On the tabletop, they are So if like, you're killing demons, they they're gonna kill you just for place. fighting neck. They are okay. fast strike no chance. Small amounts of models because they're so dang strong. You only have so many characters, but with it, you get in there. What if I just purchased their whole stock? Really hard, stop and you try to bounce around the battlefield quickly, but you don't have numbers. And so every dead Grey Knight hits really damn hard. Dang. They're fun though if you like that kind of uh, fast striking kind of army. Oh, and also uh, Caldor oh, Drago. I, I realize I they fight with points. Oh, they do. Uh, that yeah. Is, so uh, each, ew, each, depending on how strong I your character is, I he's worth a certain amount of points. His... Oh, you want me to give you more explanation yeah, here? What's the more explanation? Depending, I was watching. I was watching a who's scale Warhammer Battlefield. And that stuff was. What? Entertaining. Wow, it was you, two. Wow, what? They had thousands. They just filled a whole room up. Great. They probably y'all probably saw it too. They filled a whole room up with Warhammer. Up into this thing. I told like I've been I've been liking miniatures. You know, what I'm saying I got I got I got I got that right right there. I just I just didn't paint that one. <laughs> like, but look, this is like. There was a whole bunch of miniatures, right? And there's another dude, we made a whole bunch of miniatures. And they said they could like, boom. They put all their stuff in the room. They had a crazy great battle. You know what I'm saying? How, they rolled three you... dice, three spears. You know what I'm saying? What? And dice? it was like, oh, look, I think there's if you dice? roll a six, it's a it's an instant hit. You know, if you if you roll a six, it, six is a direct hit? I don't, I don't know. I, I was so confused when they was rolling dice because they was rolling it 20 times. And the other person was rolling. They was like, when I, like you roll this? And then you roll this other type of dice. So they were just rolling in a row? They was rolling, depending on the characters, they was rolling up to nine dice at a time. Like at the same time, or sometimes they would roll two. How do you know? Like, how do you like? Know? And they was looking, they was looking like, ooh, 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 yup, miss. I'm like, what? what? He said, like, that's why I was, I was like, oh, shoot. That, like, that's why I was, I was like, why would your army be small? He's like, oh, and then we said, if, if he goes down, you're gonna feel that. I'm like, yeah, cause I saw, cause they, they was fighting, they had like, they was fighting like those big ones. They had one one plane, he rolled something, he just took it across, took 30 of his troops out. I'm like, wow. what? How are y'all calculating how much? Uh, okay, whatever. This stuff is ridiculous, I'm not lying. I was like, yo, that stuff kind of like act. The things hand, you don't know, bro. Though we are lost, I am the shield on his arm. Mm -hmm. Everyone. This, one. I am the I'm sorry guys, we haven't did this in a minute. Though we are yep. lost, I am the shield on his arm. I am the flight of his arrows. I am the hammer. I am the sword. I am the shield. I am a soldier. You are not all that, At the end of time. He is. Remember the OP. Great Knights are a pretty hard no, so The Great they Knights? are as holy as you can Let me get, get past this weak old barrier. If you like Space Marines and you want to, you know that they're holy enough? You want to be holier? Great Knights. Now you want to be holier That's Jerkle's fraction. Let's talk Imperial Knights. All right, guys, lock in. We on Imperial like Knights, bro. Gigantic walkers the size of homes I like those. Or I might be one of those. Buildings. Do you want to kill heretics, but you want to kill like 40 of them per turn? 
Do you want turn. A That's the stuff I was seeing. Old school knight noble house style of walkers with so giant they do? chainsaw arms. Then you got. I think they just kill things. Pure knights. Seems like not a whole lot to talk about them. Oh, that one's clean. Gigantic walkers, but they have this old school like house feel to them. Like literally, like there are houses. Yeah, it seems like they built different. Each imperial knight comes from a house. Yo, and what's this one? Wait, 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 that's from that. Uh, these I think we. No, never mind. They're fighting iron yo, giants. Yo, guys, tell us, tell us what this uh, like where this cinematic from? Okay, they they kill them squads in a couple shots, stepping so on. Imagine how big those things are. So this is for the big guys. They look normal size to us, but those things are probably massive. Oh dang! Yeah, we saw it. Actually, for that matter, don't have a whole lot to discuss. They're just super big, heavy walkers, and they look different depending on your house or chaos god you currently believe in. And overall, Kurt? these things are just really cool if you what? want to murder every faction. You have. They're the big, scary, big unit of Warhammer, and if you want to collect them, go to town. They make for a great painting project too. Game over back down to earth. Let's talk something about a little bit, uh, a little bit different, a little more gold. Okay, he's moving through these kind of fast. Like... Are regular soldiers. Space Marines are super soldiers. Grey Knights are super, super soldiers. Don't tell me the Adeptus there. Custodes are super soldiers cubed. The Adeptus Custodes that mean? are the Those third like major army I own. I, I know, three armies. I know, I, I, I got carried away, okay? But that, that's all. I only have three, okay? <laughs> this dude's going psycho, bro. They are our final rich. brand of Space Marines, but these ones are super special. Okay, if a guardsman is six foot, like a space marine is seven feet, a custodian is eight feet. These are the giant defenders of Those holy eight terra. Feet. They don't look eight feet, but they. Because they're all sitting next to each other, my guy. Themselves. These are the I people that like literally that. guard. No, that, I'm not like that one in the back. Like that dude, the new leader. <laughs> custodians. These boys That'll protect the emperor's leader. throne room at all times and are literally like handcrafted people. They're not humans brought up by a gene seer or something. These are all. Handcrafted so these like one in the hundred thousand of starting. It's crazy that he's saying this because I try to I try to join them, bro. Back in the day, it was weak, bro. They said I couldn't join, bro. But he got manhandled. I saw that. Man. No, 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 I didn't get manhandled. They tried to. It was you. And you saw it was a four v one. You saw it was uh, like, 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 like I'm like ah. You know what I'm saying? Even had to jump you, you got man handled. That's weak though. Cause I started painting this dude on the ground. Me, me, me. They said get off of him and they started beating me up. That's the weak. And then he got up and started stopping me. And I ate that joint. Mm -hmm. I ate that joint. Well, I took my licks and walked on. I didn't start no beef. I could have pulled. But they didn't see I had that last gun on me. I could have pulled that joint out. If I really, I, if I really wanted to, I could have. It would have been worse though. Those two in the back. I could have pulled out the bolter gun. And they would have, I thought, but back. yeah, back. and it's you, L Mans, because when they jumped me, you started laughing and joined. L Mans, L, this dude, bro. He my might, space wolves had to help me, he bro. They could take him, though. My yeah. space wolves had to help me. They got me out of there, bro. They did a little private meeting, and they lucky I was about to pull out that bolter on them, too. But they said, No, 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 don't do it. You go out weak. I'm like, oh, You're right, you're right. And I hit him with that honorable one. That stuff was hilarious. No, I, love you. I think from a tube, these behemoths of men are like eight feet, eight and a half feet tall and functionally immortal. They stand the still, spear in hand for hundreds they of have spears. years without the need to sleep and barely even the need to eat, watching what? over the throne room and every Bro. other area of This Holy is one of those dudes you don't want to have it come after you, man. Right? life. And oh my lord, are they terrifying. <laughs> These custodians put space marines to shame. If you liked your they super soldiers, your super mega soldiers, one of these men can take on probably three space marines and most likely win. They're most likely though, like, and look, imagine they, they jump me though. <laughs> I painted it on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Your cool and shield go out. That's actually sad. But that's that's clean. That's not a spear though. Yeah, yeah I don't know what that, that is. It could be a spear. It's all of them. It's all of them. Awesome. That's a spear, a gun, a sword. It's the of this giant eight and a half foot tall golden god because that guardsman will end up becoming a general one day or something of that nature. Mm. The custodians work in mysterious ways. They're and are clean. I might have to get a custodian. I like the one in the back. That one flying up. These I don't know. I like the one on the ground more. Pretty that horrifying, cool too. both on the tabletop as well as in the lore. Yeah, one there are very cooler. few of them, however. That's how they look. Actually, extremely small. I don't animals. know. I don't. I don't, I don't I think I like them as a miniature. Yeah. There's so many of these people that can have. I don't like their legs. Their legs look un, un, uncanny. Weapons is powerful and training this good, and the custodians 
have all three of it. Mm. For 100 okay. years, I stood my watch amidst the somber shadows of the years? saints of Imperialis. Kind of crazy. I was still I'm as really a statue, surviving 20. but always ready. Always attuned to dangers unseen. These Days, people have patience. Months, That's crazy. Years passed by in a frenzied years? blur beyond those walls, yet within, little moved and nothing changed. For 100 years, I did not but wait. Yet had any threat appeared, I would have struck it down in a heartbeat. Any, you For see, and he, talk, he talking tough. Watch, he talking end, tough. But when I pulled up, though, they wanted to jump me. All quiet. The custodians are the top dogs of the Imperium, and they hurt. Yeah, he was talking mad tough way. and not doing that. I do want to discuss a little bit of oh! silence before we get out of here. Because the Sisters of Silence, I also have a few of. And they're really fun, but they don't get enough attention. They look These ugly, bro. These kind of bald... Kind of bald, they are. Bro! Ho, ho. Little, 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 are a whole group of pariahs, or also known as blanks. We'll be referring to them blanks as blanks from now on. So as every mind is somewhat connected to the warp, these blanks are a genetic mutation that is, has it suppressed heavily. The girls are because genetic Because of that mutation. mind suppression, normal people feel this weird, like, uncomfortable nature. Oh, that's just what blinks are. Okay. When a sister of silence walks past them, you feel ill. You feel just uncomfortable and strange. So Yo, they gotta kill them. Actually live no, 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 no. Them. They're good. Because once they are birthed, they're, well, you know, killed or something at a very young age. Because what? They just want to I told you. Aura. These ladies, however, are guardians of the throne as well for more psychic threats. Mm. See, none of the custodians are psychers. So they no one can time dealing go through with their demons and other kinds of psychic also, phenomena. Also, the custodians are trashed against are demons. They're weak. Specialized in it. All of them taking a vow of silence as they don't speak. Hence the term such as a silence. They don't communicate is wild. You just tell her to go over there and but if there's a demon there issue, if there's any kind of warp-based problem, the sisters are up, extremely adept at dealing with them, thanks to their blank gene. They normally work a lot of time yeah, with the say, custodian. So, dude, I think blankers, it kind of makes sense if the only reason... Blankers are used to counter the uh, their weaknesses. Exactly. So, I was thinking, if they send a psychic attack to one person, if a blinker is nearby, does a blinker get the psychic attack? That would be fire if it was. They I just thought that would they just said they're almost immune to it, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why, I me, mean, I feel like, so Wilfred, they, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, the one with the lone sword, crazy. Which one? That's a claymore. That one? Yeah. Nah, that's kind of hard. I'm not going to the one I with like, the two. I like that one, though. The one with the two, the two like these, I know she, she catch bodies. Yeah. She catch bodies, though, you know what I'm saying? It might throw. I have a couple sneak links as a bankers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's kind of weird. They, they, they get straight to the point, you know what I'm saying? I pull up. They can't argue. I pull up, they already taking my armor off. Like, I don't have to say nothing. Cause they, they don't even be speaking to me. They don't want to have communications. After 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 I get done, they instantly picking me up, putting my arm back on. I'm like, that's weak, bro. Wow, I'm just trying to chill. I'm trying to stretch on the bed. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, the sisters of silence and the sisters of death, they be they be beefing. They be really beefing at times. Yeah, so I'd be like, yo, move, move, move. Cause they be like, they be like, the, the, the sisters of death be like ball headed B. I'll whoop I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm like, yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Cause I, I, I be having three on both teams. The other one can't even argue. <laughs> they, they, don't be, they don't be talking, they just be trying to swing. They I be can't taking, I be, argue back. No, nah, I be just taking random strays. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? Like that stuff weak, bro. Why are you pushing one back at the other They pushing. they meek and me, cause they they fighting me, bro. And I'm pushing them back. And the sisters of death trying to really swing on somebody. And so I'm getting hit from both sides. I'm like, yo, move, move. Y'all can't have me at once, bro. Because every time I had, like, I have two, I had two, I had one from both parties. I had one sister of death, one sister of the silence, same room. Same room. They started fighting on my joint, bro. On my joint, they started meet me, me. I started catching random strays, and then they started pulling my joint. I was getting dragged out the room, bro. I'm like, move, bro. That's crazy. Ever since then, they that's reported. Crazy. That's crazy endurance. Oh, they reported to their people, bro, and now they beefing all because of me. I'm like, every time they see me with them on site, I have to pull them back, and they know how to fight. So I'm taking the most powerful strays. Ooh, ooh, I'm back and forth like these. But you know what I'm saying? I still got both of them on speed dial. You know what I'm saying? Two phones for two different groups. I'm a busy man. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a sneaky link. You know what I'm saying? I'll, no, 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 no. This is back in my past. But I still have them on. You think you still have I got them on the hush. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm a little sneaky link. They don't want to claim me like that, but I don't want to claim them either. <laughs> but I just kind of did.
Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's 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 listen a little bit more. Deal with both kinds of threats, but they're not represented that way on the tabletop. In fact, they only have like one real model for them, which is very Bruh. unfortunate. I hope they'll get some new soon because I think they should really be working That's together really care about as it, it is like. that way in the lore. He but said hopefully that. we'll get there soon. Let me but see the model. We're talking about blanks. That's the one we saw. Let's talk assassins. Working together as Their it is that way is in the war, big, but though. hopefully we'll get there soon. But yeah, we're talking they have about boobs. blanks. Yep. Let's talk assassins. These ones seem corny though. The assassins, they seem slick. As a long video, stealthy. we're about to round it out. We got I this and like one more that. human Iron thing, Man and then we're done. Though. The assassins, though, the officio assassinorum. Oh boy, these people are deadly. Yeah, they're called assassins. Why are you they speaking weird like this? Bro. Because they're deadly. <laughs> These people let him be, let him be mess happy. you up. So uh, these are autism. from the Officio Assassinorum, a very special organization, and they are handpicked by the Grand Master of the Officio Assassinorum. It seems like the higher they went, the more powerful they got. Them. The more handpicked they are. Progenium. It's basically so an orphan like, school. Your parents got crazy. murdered by right. demons or something. You get sent to this, and you get trained to be whatever. Okay, uh, bet. That's kind of hard. I'll, an inquisitor, I'll maybe join. Even, uh, maybe you I should have known about this earlier. Gene and you get thrown into the Sisters of Silence, or sometimes you just disappear. When you are what? taken out, oh, you I forgot they said they kill you. Temples, because the assassin or sometimes they kill you. Temple style of things. Bruh. These these temples are the Vindicare, Caluxus. Calidus These names Eversort gotta stop, temples. bro. They be so but, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Which, which, which temple? I, I, from what I remember, you in there, yeah. what I remember, I'm from the Cal the Calidus Temple. You know what I'm saying? I skipped out on this part, bro. Like I didn't know those were the names. I was from the Calidus Temple. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? I just let have y'all locked in a little, a little bit more about my backstory. The Calixus, um Temple look hard, though. Yeah, I saw their crest, but I wasn't vibing with it. I'm far away. They I've been beat. sitting They're, here dang. for three weeks. What's, what's, this, the what's this audio clip? Is That's, the main that was some talking. You didn't see him in the battle? No, I know. I thought about the bro. Why would you? All these assassins. Their whole point I'm is like, to, that be one hard. to be in a spot and sit there, eye and scope, for weeks, waiting for their perfect target, got, taking bro. people out from literal miles away it's not even that hard, after actually, extremely it hard. long time periods. I can do it. The Vindicare Temple is about precise, perfect aim. There have been reports of Vindicares being you know, like able to a single out advanced body parts submarine from over uh, two, what no, what three miles diver. away. Temples in the head, the jugular, for instance, and been sitting there after weeks. And when they're ready, take that shot. Time is done. Packs them up. This dude the become Calvary's one with the foliage. Oh, yo. Damn, I wish I had heard of my speaking a female based one, which it seems to be. I can never catch them. This allows them. a lot of Lucky. body augmentation you know what doing. for certain individuals to be able to kind of trans. Yo, why is she built like that, though? And of infiltrate like areas female? that are problems. No, I mean, like, These she has muscles, but in her whole chest don't have muscles. Missions that take them years, two, three years, to infiltrate a for females to develop and slowly work their way up. Follow just that. to get enough time to put a bullet into the main target's head and then escape unharmed. What were they or fighting orc? Become that's a, that's the main like target some and sabotage it from within. These are all completely about deception, mind tricks, polymorphing, and everything in between. These are like so they're, they're, they're top tier gaslighter. Whoa! Oh, Bricky! Bricky is a man of culture. Yeah, he's bricked up one. during this one. The part, Eversort right? Temple is about when you don't want anything to come back alive, friend or foe. You want it all dead. They look and Eversor is psychogenically this is skull masker went wrong with just now me me and, and the evasors torture so we used to be rocking back in the day violence what hatred and anger it does the clockwork you know what i'm saying we, we just we just we just took different paths it didn't work out to watch never no we just took different paths we just never leaked up and psycho they be stealthy conditioning i guess is that's the hard and then they pump you full of tons of psychedelic drugs and they cryo freeze you. Oh, they're scarecrow, and they drop Mr. Freeze. You in an area <laughs> where they just want Mr. to make Freed. sure everything. No, I don't like Mr. Freeze. What are you talking about? You're right. Frost, full of just all this insane, mind boggling psychotherapy and, and psychedelic drugs, and you just go to town. Yeah, if you you don't care if anyone comes back alive, you're like, all right. I don't know. A lot of them been saying the same thing. A lot of other space. Finally, rooms. there's the most bizarre temple, the Ooh. Calexus Temple. Now I used to be a part of them for a little bit. Weird, even among the other the temples. Bison's crazy though. So that blank gene, the people will go to the Calexus Temple with this as well, 
and this is where they can harness. That looks super edited. So you, you see what I mean? Mm. I told you. I told y'all, the moment we see the collectors, I was already part of the collectors. Yep. I breezed, I went past it. I, I didn't join. Cause I didn't, I didn't become an assassin to him, whatever. It's but you gotta be a little slim too. I went, I went, I, I was passing through considering, cause you know, they're hand picked. Yeah. I had never been hand picked for anything. So you have to work for that joint. Yeah, so I was trying to grind through and I was like, yo, let me join. It was like, nah, you ain't built like that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, chill out. You know what I'm saying? You know why I didn't you get was, these stripes? But you was a little too big though, like, you like, like you know, at least push, you was pushing 500. Like, you know what? They, they didn't know what I did to get these stripes, bro. So I, I went through, you know what I'm saying? And like they said, I was rocking with the collectors. Mm -hmm. Blanks. Every, every baddie blank was in every corridor. They was just walking through, you know what I'm saying? It's these parts of the story I think you're making up. They literally just it's said, those parts. they literally just said the same blank jeans be in this temple before I even, before he even talked about the temple, I said collect this. I already said that was with me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how y'all know I'm not capping. The know. blanks was it, through. It, my sneaky hard. links, I had to get through them to get to my sneaky links, bro. It's, it's, it's that simple. It's that simple. That was like a that right away. Massively anti-psycho or even just anti-regular people. They're seen with extreme fear and Clean. distrust among many, many people. They're what described doing to Brody? by the Eldar He's by extracting quote, his semen. as being pure True. evil. Imagine that uncomfortable yes, feeling from that blank gene I mentioned. What and are those aliens? And give it a fucking to bro. amplify it by a hundred. If normally regular people feel uncomfortable, now they are basically akin to being a siren. Like a character from My Hero Academia. Here. And if you're a psyker, oh no, the sheer presence is this now, one that messed up, Brody? Is enough for Wait, you no, to no, tear no, your no, skin no. off. You will rather gouge no, your eyes in the, out. You know what they're trading? Now off. these are actually the dangerous demons. Person. The closest assassin is. And he's a human. Wait, what the freak? I just realized. This is a human. This is a human. They different, bro. Because it is a suitable choice over being any. Is he in the water? The motto of that temple is that which is unknown and unseen commands the greatest fear. Now, for the tabletop, the Kuka assassins Kuka aren't crazy, that bro. special. You can call them in, no matter what Imperium faction you are, and they do a lot of work for themselves, but at the same time, they're very specialized and require a lot of finesse. And they work the so way you generally hard. want them to, though. You want to cause some distortion and weird stuff, you take a Calidus. You want to just murder swaths of infantry and then blow up Eversor. You want to kill that one guy, Vindicare, and if you have a lot of psychers, you want to kill, kill that nice one little, guy. Like, jack of all trades, if you have a. If it's not a great like, night, I'm not. I'm not worried about him. I'm rocking with his but coffee, now, though, dude. In the let's middle. Let's talk about the last human hard. faction we could. This is the last human. So you was right. The rest is about demons and orcs. Inquisition. We have a lot to talk about with them. <laughs> they sound corny. Oh boy. Memo. Where do I they even are. begin with the Inquisition? That's what I'm saying. They have the Bible tied to their chest. Malai. You can think of. Uh, the KGB, the Gestapo, the CIA, FBI. All the names have joined them. Couldn't FAP. find image, so let me and import then text. Mark it up by about That's 10 another baddie. That's like a MILF, though. But. And give them the most power in the entire Imperium. No, You know what? How about this? This, this right here, it's a, not just a quote. This is the imperial motto, mm. the motto oh. of the Inquisition. All right, I let's check it out. For my bad pronunciation. Better be good, bro. Innocentia nihil probat. Innocence proves nothing. You can't even be the free most no more. Powerful organization in the Imperium, the secret police. Their number one motto is innocence proves crazy. nothing. The Inquisition goat. Wait, are they baddies? Why do you keep showing baddies? I don't know, cause I saw a man, but now I only see females. See, I wish back in my day I would have seen them. But look, this is what I was about to say. I, I, it took me a while to process what he just said. That's the crazy. Innocence proves nothing. I'm thinking, I'm like, that's clean. That ain't clean. But then I was like, hold on. So they like, yo, he did something. They prove he didn't. Ah, uh, that didn't prove anything. He did some. What? <laughs> That's wild. It's she, what they say. She can take my innocence any day though. Let's get into the she video. Take your life. That's why you didn't meet one. 
he did not around I like, couldn't find him police or like that too. to find issues in the Imperium. if I knew he was walking around I was about to find him depending on which one we're talking about the Ordo Hereticus the Ordo Zero, they are females the Ordo Malleus oh, man, oh, man, a man a man Hereticus is obvious oh my god heretics Xenos tries to find alien threats. Xenos. Malleus is demons. Malleus. You see why I couldn't find them? Yeah. The main human one was out here stealth mode. Malleus is men, Each and they find demons. Demon. 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 They probably we free saw how the demons are OP. As they wish, yeah. And they have a ship and a crew, and they go out to find problems and like interrogate people a lot. They terrorize people. They the law in every department. Over Space Marines. Bro. Now the Space Marines might argue they weak against though, them. Like after all the other factions, blowback. But technically, they are above them as Inquisitors. They are looking to investigate and figure out coups and cults. Also, and they're actual. They're just they're detectives. Possible kind of like, issues like genes. They like Batman. They like Batman a new, for a, a threat coming into an area. They're about learning that stuff and actually doing detective work. And me and yeah, they're, they're detectives. good at it. The Inquisition memes. having all so this power memes? does make them a little bit power hungry and frantic sometimes. And yes, it is still a bad thing, but most of them are pretty good at Ooh, their job. They, they spend really a lot got of time Fidel. being very diligent to make sure that all of these leads they that's follow the are need. proper and correct. They're that basically space need, detectives bro, I'm with just enormous ugly. power. And sometimes a bit of a power I see complex. A beauty and in we all haven't people. even talked about Exterminatus yet. Even you, my Exterminatus. Okay, bro, get off me, bro. Exterminatus is deeming a planet unfit to be saved. I deem that this planet is demon infested, That's and what taking do. it back will cost too many resources and is not worth it. <laughs> they need to do I that with every planet with an alien on it. On this planet, they be trying I to fight them. Now them. sign the death dumb. warrant like, this guy said of other entire people. Imperium planets, as it is unfit to take and better to be destroyed than allow the enemy to hold it. This can mean saturation bombardments. This can mean cracking huh? the planet's core and breaking it apart. It just do doesn't that. matter. No, I know they can't because sometimes they, do, they need resources to swallow their crew. To all life. Yes, the innocence proves nothing, people are the only people who can choose this planet must die. Wait, in what? Its entirety. They are. What? They are Batman. They're playing the villain. Bro, they are Batman. Oh, they're walking around like Darth Vader. Bruh, so they're over here chilling. You're chilling. Man, I'm glad we finally stopped that war. Did anyone tell the Inquisitors yet? Inquisitors? Well, y'all about to die, cuz. <laughs> what? Yo, 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 chill. Wait, wait, we, we killed the aliens. Nah, nah. They, they, they among nah. you, bro. Put on these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did they know? <laughs> no, remember that? What's that? Yeah. Uh, they they alive? Yep. Or alive? Like the, the bro? About, yeah. The inquisitors, like I seen half of y'all population, bro. I talked. I actually did talk to them. Though. Look, your 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 wife. I'm like, like, bro. I'm 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 like I'm I'm shook. Man, I, I keep calling. That's why I keep calling Batman though. This I, is this I is would, why this is why we never ran into an inquisitor. I went. I actually did run into. I didn't want to talk about it, though. Cause it was weird because I was talking to him and broken saying how he was God. He was really a traitor for real, but I didn't want to press him because Cuddy kept saying, no, he was repeating one word over and over again. Kept saying, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. I couldn't get any answers out of him. Bro was weird. I know what he said. They're villains. They're legit villains. I don't know how he get his detective work done because he kept repeating one word. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy jumping down. And just cracking the earth core to blow it up is crazy. <laughs> That's now, crazy. Lot, but most inquisitors if I seen very that, bro. Exterminatus. Exterminatus is a very crazy thing. There's only so many worlds that you don't want to destroy all of them. That's uh, what I'm saying. Naturally, it should be not with that rare. Though, aside, there are some people who are a little bit. Plan. We still haven't found a planet we can live <laughs> in one. Yeah. <clears throat> But most inquisitors do got Kryptonians? Do a ton, but it is an option they have. That's it's a straight a crazy wizard option when you think about it. Secret Wait, police what? inquisition. Huh? Are not gay for it. Huh? And it's a crazy op That's not a that's a that's a that's a girl though. What do you talk about? If it's the dude, so bro. Secret police inquisition that's are unfortunately not, not represented on the tabletop very much. You generally kind of put one in your army if you feel like it. You have a couple special options there and some side content, but they're not really fleshed out very well. And personally, they need a lot more 
stuff put in there and they, they really need a lot how more do you work with them like, oh, so he said yeah, you put one in your army is cool be. but they're Overall, not really the Inquisition useful. makes for a lot of the best storytelling as well because it's a little bit hard to talk about a big story of a whole bunch of space marines killing something right it's just a big battle story it's right. not as interesting having that intrigue and that moral dilemma that an inquisitor moral. has makes for a lot why, why every time i see one of these there's always the someone with wings flying in the back <laughs> better because then it adds a little more humanity. Y'all want to be like me, animal. boy? Horrible, There's horrible no, group. What I talked to you was wow, messed up. We just finished the humans. Hey! Right, back to part two, when we talk about chaos and xenos, because that's what we got. Hard. Yeah! Well, this is part two in a two-part series on the Warhammer races. If you haven't Ooh, seen one yet, we do the Imperium of Man. I knew it. It's about in the description, and I'll have a clear note black one for, that 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 for this episode. If you already have, go ahead and Keep on watching. So no. after an entire episode of Not nothing but humans, we can now talk about chaos, which involves humans again, but a little mm. bit less. We also got demons and shit. Finally, bro. Just, <laughs> why why you say that last part, bro? Like, like hard chaos thing. demons, so, bro. Wait, no. What do you think? We won that. The, we're the chaos the, marines. I like that demons dialogue. And shit. I just felt someone grab my ass. <laughs> what? Like hard, Nick. So <laughs> like, many times what is that random dialogue? Before. The immaterium, the hellish landscape, the purgatory it? dimension realm yeah, between the this. material realm of our existence. Now in the warp, it's terrifying, horrible. There are demons everywhere. Like Things brain. are crazy. All your minds and thoughts and emotions get projected there. It is both formless and empty. It is That's vast the and tiny. It uh, obeys the laws of time and physics while simultaneously does absolutely nothing of the sort it is a hodgepodge and a culmination hodgepodge of just unknowable eldritch basically what he's saying ships. is that and there are four gods it, this is what Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness should have been chaos and the warp these are the four it, major chaos too. gods and if we wish to learn about right. chaos oh that's Patty in the bottom that's what we were asking gods. for they wanted to tell us they was hiding them bro why was y'all hiding that baddie I was telling y'all where the where the sex demons at, bro. Where the where the good looking demons at? Y'all y'all was hiding them, and he's about to go through them too. So I should I should really smack y'all right now. I wasn't giving us the answers we deserve, bro. bro. I'm really tight. The after all we do, bro. is your classic Satan. He is all about hey, anger, murder, oh, so OG. fighting, blood, guts, bro. death. You ever heard the term "blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne"? No, That's I never core. heard that. The whole idea is that he is all about the so fury quick. and strength of battle. He doesn't care where blood comes from, so long as blood is flowing. Oh, that's the S tier villain. And murder <laughs> that's and the S tier villain. Slaughter and death, death, you don't need him death, in the death. world. That is I'm gonna kill in the name of God. Very simple to Good. Understand. Next up we have Zeech, <laughs> and Zeech Ooh, that is hard. the god of change. That's However, you. the god of change, it permeates in so I many different other ways. He's the most Eldric of all the demon gods. He has this weird he way to always on his be D. plucking at the strings of the universe. He's always conniving and scheming and doing his best like to him. cause as much little bullshit as he can. Zeech is, is unknowable. Everything that makes sense, he will and won't do. Every future and setting and every type of, of, of destiny or Fate Bro's is unorthodox. all foretold and also changeable. It is set in stone while also completely kind of random. Right there. He knows where everything is going to happen and also that none of it's going to happen. You would ask Zeech a this, question. This this dialogue that, that makes me confused. Leads to three more questions. And those questions sense. lead to the heat death of the universe, which adds like this four don't answers make sense. to those questions. And then he thinks to himself, what are questions even really? And are you even asking the questions? I've been thinking or are you that simply giving Paths to answers and and other horseshit. Zeech is just that's <laughs> real questions though. I'm gonna fuck with stuff. He is. What are you talking yes, about? He is, no, <laughs> he's on he is he wants to die, bro. He is complexity. He is unknowable, and that's he what is. the God of Change is about. Very bizarre. And he likes birds a lot. I don't. I don't know why. Because he plays with them. Yeah, Papa like, what? What Nurgle. Papa oh, Nurgle, no. he loves you for who you are. Probably Those not. He will murder you just the same. Papa Nurgle is about rot. Man. Pestilence, death, and decay. He is the end of everything. Him and Zeke. I remember him personally. He's the one I have beef with. We we both went on this uh, mission with them. That's when we was on Rambo Rambo gear. Mm -hmm. We personally have beef with this, bro. Nah, nah. That stuff was crazy. 
Nah, this is this is the main reason we joined the Salamanders. Yep. This is the main reason we joined the Salamanders because of this dude. I told you they had to wait until we get the demon. This is how a lot of our origins start happening. How Nah, no, y'all probably didn't see. Y'all probably didn't see. Like the moment he was on screen, before he was on screen, I was looking at the other dude. I was like, okay, he's kind of confusing. Yep. But when he got on screen, I was like, I'm like, immediately, I'm it. ready to fight, bro. I'm like, who is this dude, Goofy? They don't like him. Nah, bro. This dude... I like each other very much because where Z represents change and adjustments, Nurgle represents stagnation mm -hmm. and death. He like is all lazy. about miasma. Two of the things I hate the most. Mm -hmm. Large. Bloat and pus and, and organs and yep. people just being sedentary sloth. My boy is greedy. He the idea that everything <laughs> will rot like and decay and die. Nothing is certain besides decay That's and that. death. That's agree with All you. of us will end up the same way. And broken down through just sheer Heck never nah. ending decomposition. Those might be girls so too. You never know. Some of those are our homies, bro. Because of that. Because we you, all man. end up speak about the it. same. We all rot. And we all die and wither. That's nervous. Hey, man, get and your, you get your elbow off me, bro. Of course, I haven't got you be so close. You be so close. You be so close, though. You move a little bit that way. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, not too much. Hey, <laughs> I need you next to me. <laughs> Yo, come here, bro. Move, don't touch me, bro. <laughs> You're bipolar. You want the D now, you don't want it. <laughs> Different kinds of diseases. I can't feel like this now. That's I'd be like, Nurgle. He's pretty easy to understand as well. And he's. He chunk. Finally, we have the youngest of the chaos gods. He just Ooh. showed the full picture before. Why are you blurring it out? Prince of pleasure. Oh, he blurred himself too. Oh, also, this is the so this is the people y'all talking about. Generally referred mm -hmm. to with sex, but it's not only sex. It's just that's a good avenue if you want to make stuff. So that's just just the yeah. idea. Ooh. Of the body being cranked to not just 11, but more like 17. See, we'll discuss Sonesh a little bit Thank more when we talk about the Eldar because they done fucked up. But no, 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 we're going to talk about her right now, right? This is the reason why I kept asking you about him. About about her, where to find them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I know. Right, we what the moment we heard about her, right? She took she she some of our men when it was Salomon. Like when I was a space wolf, mm -hmm. some of my men fell victim to uh, her pleasures, right? Yeah, it was, it was quite that because there was there was like a lot of narcotics before, so they couldn't discern from reality. And that's what that's what I'm saying. So they they were trying like, to warn them. I needed some of that. They was talking about how good it was. I needed some of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you wasn't in was, so you was a little smarter. I'm a different breed, mm -hmm. so they know. Like I was about to do crazy things to her, and so word got out. She started trying to avoid me, bro. I was so tight, bro, because I needed some of that, bro. I needed that. So she's always she's in hiding. She's st she's staying away from me, and I've been finding I've been following her, trapping in closer and closer. But I still I still never got her, bro. Yeah, it actually quite day. bad because he tried a lot. He would do everything. <laughs> <laughs> he would do everything. He was stalker, bro. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. She, yeah. he, it. He, she, he, it don't it's matter. Really about just the excess of emotions, and therefore sex is. Oh yeah. A large part of it. Oh yeah. However, Need that. Mostly pain. Need that. Bro, you gotta. Lots you gotta of pain fix torture, that. Like cut me. Sexually related or drugs related. Lots of drugs. Lots of drugs. Mm, so that's then she gets called. off on You said it before everything. it was even on screen. All right. We, we all, are. They, they be acting that, like we be lying. Lie. They be acting like we don't know. Bro, you so said weird. You said drugs before it was on screen. They act like we don't know. Oh like, but we locked in already. So dumb. Like, they like come on, bro. You gotta start believing it, man. That's that. You forgot a couple of your stories. That's why some of them be wrong. Sadism and masochism. <laughs> and of course, that goes along with the sex part of it as well. It's oh, hey, yes, sir. With sex because of the color scheme, very purple, lots of exposed genitalia. A lot of their models have like exposed nipples. Wow, Violet's my favorite color. And that is generally the theme you go for from yeah. the physical side, but it really That's embodies true. everything. Mainly pain and also the, the excessive you amount of I can deal with pain. So when it comes yeah, I was hiding to be a girl, like, like trying to be like a man, but it, you know or, really a girl. That thing have three, or any kind three, of BDSM style gear because it is unspeakable excess. That's, so that have six blood, boobs on them. Everything in excess. That have like the eight. Point it's like two down there. That is I thought those were abs. in a nutshell. A little bit bizarre and a little hard to describe sometimes. But as we talk more about the Dark Eldar later in this video, you'll understand it far, far better and far Dude, more than hard. you want to. Now you might be thinking, why would anyone ever want to join Chaos. They all oh, easy, easy. I have a thousand reasons. Things, right? 
Well, the thing is, is that, of course, one, your mind one. is put into the warp and the materium, so you can be easily swayed by chaos demons when they get into your head, especially if you're a psyker. Sometimes regiments of the less mentally strong people, whether they be civilians yeah, or, say, to, to to or them, conscripts, they, they can be easily swayed by this and become chaos cultists and stuff, and yeah. they serve their dark gods or whatever mm -hmm. god they personally refer. However, and this might seem strange, chaos in their own right isn't necessarily evil. I know that. See, the Both warp are is evil, though, every so manifestation obvious. of emotion and being, every soul, every thing of existence. This includes all the good things. Mm -hmm. All the different chaos gods mm. have another side to their coin. Korn might be death, murder, mm. slaughter, slaughter, but he's also got this weird sense of survival of the fittest, trial by combat, and honor. How is, Korn will never how is lie that? to you. Corn will never stab you in the back. Corn isn't about so he's up front conniving and yeah, yeah. scheming. Corn he doesn't matter if you kill for God. Mono, you, you kill him. Yep. You versus right. me. Get in the ring. We're gonna murder each other hard. Right. See, now. this is the thing. May not be a good I thing have too much today. of corn in me, bro. I have too much of that in me. I watch too much corn. Like that's that's what. Yeah. yeah. Like when he said, "Bro, I'll do anything to survive. Anything." Not no gay joint though. That's one thing I won't do. And I will do anything to spill some blood because I'm a I'm a savage. I'm a warrior. Even if I'm outnumbered, I'm like, who first? Cause I'm not playing the game. Who first? Who won it? The one thing I would say though, is I like, think I'm just a little lucky because I be always getting saved. Yeah. But I'm gonna go not out. Always though. Sometimes you do be putting the work. That's what I'm saying. But I be, me 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 me. The cavalry always comes because yeah. I I have a I have. You a, always hold hold them up. Yo, wolves wolves hunt in packs. Yeah. So wherever I am. Like yeah, my my gang stays with me. But you have to get the hardest ones. Though. You know that. Hey, that's how I joined. I had to kill the kill the leader. One thing though. The one thing. I'm though, them now. Yeah, I didn't want to say this though, but like the reason why I had to leave the Salamanders, I didn't say. But this is why we had to get to the Demonville first. I had to leave. You already know it was a little tragic, cause I faced off with him, bro. I I asked for one v one. I did. I did ask for one v one. But I was getting thrashed. I'm all like, I was getting thrashed a little bit. You already know Sal Salamanders, they really don't. They they kind of scary. So I thought I could no, hold it down. Y'all fought, fought in the most savages way. Y'all fought no armor. Mm -hmm. Just bare knuckles. You none of that. None none of that. I already saw him. And we were fighting. I'm not lying. I had to run, bro. Nah, because he grew up on He blew up on you. That was weak. It, it was weak, but... They never, they never respected me after that. I had to leave, you know. I, I'm, I, we, we, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I just want to know, that. like, bro, it's weak because his natural ability, he can change his side. That stuff weak, bro. Yeah, I'm not lying. But it is that other side of the coin. Him and Zeech generally don't get along because Zeech is that conniving schemer, but he's also about the idea of hope. Loki. Where there is change, there is change for your predicament. There is change for your problem. That the makes hope sense. of the galaxy, the ability to bend the world to your will, the idea that your faith is keep not set in stone, region, but in reality that you control your own destiny and can control whatever you want, the changer of ways. That I like his Zeech. design. And of course, Zeech and Nurgle hate each other because while Nurgle does represent Weak stagnation, death, mm -hmm. and decay, he also Ugly represents finality and ending. The fact that you can he be can mentally at Weak peace knowing that you will end and how you will end. Bro, ain't you know that good? <laughs> make it off this dude, bro. <laughs> that dude ain't With good at all. You trying to make him good, it still sounds terrible. And that provides that finality, that ability that this is over. We are all the Almost same, the and we will all end the same. We know the meaning of Hey, I'm good. The Look, you'll die. I'm like, mm, we go boy. And, <laughs> and with that, it brings peace of mind. Slanesh is a lot more simple. <laughs> they are the excess of emotion. You know they are also about the representation it. of emotion. Slanesh embodies happiness. Slanesh yep. embodies excitement That's and obvious. joy yep. and yep. pleasure. Yep. Not only in the sense of the physical, you know, bam style of pleasure Bam, but crazy. also everything else you like know you're not only food, getting one pump and in drink and oh, food you got me done i'm still sunlight the feeling emotion <laughs> and about feeling bro's talking about All sunlight and air so that's the weed with Sinesh. so you have to ask why are they always represented as super evil skulls and are, spikes mostly. on everything and want to murder everybody i don't really got an answer for you on that one they do my mostly. assumption is that because mentally humans may think <sighs> worse thoughts even if we don't act on them, and yeah. therefore they're projected yeah, in the obvious. warp more. That one's a little bit weird. I don't know. This is me that's obvious. right now, but 
I don't know. You need, a, you need a super bad guy. You already got the Imperium of Man. You need somebody to be a little bit worse than them. <laughs> so you got these. Honestly, who cares? I just want to buy like a bird Ooh. magician. Look at that. I power. do not want so cool. no, that's so not, combine bro. all this together no. on the tabletop. Rip this beak off and start playing with melee base. They run in, go really hard. You have lots of summoning, conjuring, tons of spells. Generally a little bit frail, but they have special saves to make them a little bit stronger. You've got giant demons and smaller demons. you got hordes of little boys. Hey, yo, they got baby in this Demons right. are, as they seem, demons. Nurgle is slow. Uh, Korn is super scary in melee. You've got Zeech, who are far more into psychers and spellcasting. His and demons Lesh, weak, though. Yes, sir! Uh -huh. fast, but squishy, all of them be running right from me, though. Of melee and, and You'll find them eventually, damage, bro. Of course. So overall, the demons are a huge part of 40k and a massive threat That's to almost obvious. every single faction, with a, the exception of a couple. However, the big part about Some demons is also be, uh, having problems to the other nine primarchs we didn't talk about, which are the Chaos Space Marines. Yes, sir! Uh, yeah. They're design hard. The Freak. The horse and all of his boys, all of them in the primarchs, they have all also become... Chaos boys. Wait, horrors is a chaos? Their own special chaos legion, that makes sense. That whole trailer with them demonically like beating people up. The Adeptus Astartes, the Angels of Death, the regular Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines are a whole lot different than the regular Space Marines. They, they have cooler. the same armor, you know, the same training and toughness. They just specialize in different kinds of things. And also, a lot of their Primarchs have ascended into greater deep. Is it greater hey, demons? They're demon Primarchs at this point. So, so they mad powerful. Power Wait, power so they have the like same training, but they're just different. That are pretty awesome, if I'm going to be honest. They look really, really cool. But I'm moving they, they, bro. they look much better. They are part of are all kind of going out there and causing a large ruckus for everyone else. Considering the raw that's hard power of a legion of space marines, imagine that entire legion just converting to chaos and immediately fighting you. It's generally pretty hard. Wait, that's how there's a lot of them, so I gotta no. write them down. But you've got the Emperor's children with that thing ugly. Fulgrim loyal to Slanesh. These people, they are so that's why I look like that. Up. People. They're just sensory overloads. <laughs> they low key look clean oh, though. They look a little yeah, clean. I think Fulgrim is a demon Primarch right now, and oh god, I am terrified to see what that man looks like. At least on the tabletop, because Emperor's children are not good people. You've got the Iron Warriors, which oh, he are kind of like opposite. Yeah, one of his arms out. With Primarch Perturabo, I believe is his name. They're Chaos Undivided. They just kind of serve Chaos in a general aspect instead of choosing one of the four. But the Iron Warriors Damn. are big on the siege and fortification. And they're I like the black with the gold. The black with the gold is nice as freak, bro. Perturabo, I believe, is also still alive. We'll and all them wires, bro. see what he looks like, because... Demon Primarchs are badass. You've got the Night Lords with Primarch Conrad They look Kurs. normal. Conrad Kurz is dead, which is good because he's a sick fuck. But the Night Lords are generally about terror, terrorizing people and terrorism. They're generally terrorism, about fear what? and probably so. You've got the World Eaters with Primarch Angron still bro, alive. Dang. Also excited to see. This brings me back Angron. Memories, bro. If you think you've known an angry bro. bro. So, if y'all don't know, you know, remember, I was a Space Marine. I was a Space Wolf for a long time. You already know. You was a Salamander for a long time. I was a Space Wolf for a long time. Like, and I always had a boy. You know what I'm saying? He walked my back when you never was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, across the galaxy, he had my back for a long time. Mad long. Until the day he got corrupted, became the Chaos Space Marine, bro. And he became one of those world eaters, bro. Right in front of my eyes. That was tragic. You know what I'm saying? The moment he converted... You know, he still had enough heart in him because he snuck me. That was weak. He killed he killed all my men there. Left you he dead. left me alive because he was my boyfriend. We thought I thought he we was brothers. And I never yeah, and then you No, know, I saw him later on, like later in life. He looked at way different, bro. We fought mid battle. I thought he was a worthy opponent. And when I knocked his hammer off and I was about to do some crazy to him, right? I was about painting root on the ground. I was about to be over him. Yep. I saw it was my boy. That day I shed a tear, bro. Kind of weak. He's the he's the one he's the only enemy I couldn't kill. It's a sad story. Sad story. Person, Angron is the angriest son of a bitch you will ever know. Angron That's removed a thing? parts of his brain I thought that, that was didn't make thing. him angry, so he could be <laughs> angry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Angron. Bro, weird. Yeah. You've got Death Guard, uh, Primarch Mortarian. They actually have their own special codex and their own major army on Tickletop. Mortarian himself is actually one of the models. And, and what look type? At him. That's a, look such look a unique design. It's so cool looking. Of course, I hate the wings. Kind of random, obviously. though. Obviously. So very slow and very wings. tanky. you got the Word Bearers with Primarch Morgar. Lorgar is, I believe, still alive. I like the word barriers. We have a lot of conversations. The word bearers are generally the people who caused all the major problems in the beginning. At least I blame them for it. They're little assholes. We got the Black Legion with Primarch Horus. What are we talking about, my boy? The, the Black Horus. Legion is clean! We got the Alpha Legion with Primarch Alpharius. I like their Omega. blue and purple. I love Chaos. horns. I think. They look like Dragon Armor. we got the Thousand Sons with Primarch Magnus the Nerd. These look uh, like regular Deadlier Schmecks. book just with the Death Guard. Magnus is also a... What the freak is that? Why he has more than a nipple? As you can tell, and they're all super heavily psychered. They look like regular Schmecks. They look like the regular Space Marine. overall, with all of these Chaos Space Marine factions, you can play as a lot of different ones, but the main ones that you can really work at are standard... Space Marines, Chaos Space Marines, as well as the Death Guard and Thousand Suns, as they are the most fleshed out, especially the hey, at least. See, this Why right here, so much this uh -huh. is a really good way to describe the Chaos Space Marines. What the thick-headed fools with their broken corpse hey, of an yo. Emperor fail to understand is that not only can they never defeat us, but they cannot hide or flee or shield themselves from the triumph of Chaos. That's hard. They are finite and we are unbound. Undivided. They must they not speak in intelligence. They like shall this? fall to heresy. I mean, they're like oh, regular space marines. This chaos. Yeah. Every imperial fool who dares to open his eyes is a willing recruit. They strive merely to hold Dang. back our fury and might, and it consumes them. Thus, you can see chaos is inevitable. We lurk not only beyond their grasp and at their gates. We mm, lurk within the, the darkness of, the of their tongue, souls, too. on the tip of their tongues, in their tortured dreams. We are them. That seems very the easy to become a chaos. Of ignorance. We <laughs> are them, them, grown strong, evolved. We are them, but so much more. Dang, that's hard. Core, they said, said we want better. smoke, and we're gonna take Most your body to do it. Chaos is basically unkillable. You could probably get rid Makes of sense. Space Marines a decent amount, the Chaos Space Marines, that is. But every soul that dies goes to the warp. Every Chaos soul will end up back in the warp. And depending on how hard back? you kill them, they will come back at some point. Every demon you banish will return at some point. Chaos is unstoppable. The warp is unending. And while maybe there is at some point some way to stop them somehow, the resources to do so, the requirements to do so, are so far beyond the reaches Bruh. of man and the other races at the current moment that really it's just an unstoppable force that just keeps on coming and it's just barely. I could stop slow. it. Come on, now. chaos is. We can we can both stop. We can both we can stop it if we wanted to. You know what's interesting? You know what's interesting though? Hmm. The interesting fact is like, okay, first of all, I want to say one thing. Can someone tell? Can someone put a link in the comments, bro? Like, where do I? Where do we get these victories at? Cause it also send me a link for a a space wolf figurine. That I want a space wolf figurine. Hard. That's all I'm saying. But, we, we, and, we ain't but you want a Salamander one? Yeah, I gotta see the Salamander one. I gotta see if I'm up there. You know, because I, I was one of their most loyal soldiers. Well, I I, I left it, but. Yeah, you called them scary multiple times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like weird because you know I'm the most bravest one, and I still be doing some scary stuff. Like when yeah. I fight, when you, I fight, you corn, be running and not helping me in fights. When I fight corn, when I fight corn, <laughs> we, was bo we was boxing. I already told him I had to leave because he was a little too strong and he snuck me. He had some weird joint going on. He blew up. That's what was weak. Yep. But after that, we had another battle, and it was against the Chaos of Shradies. But it was um, it's the um, you know the blue ones. Yeah. So we got snuck at first, but we didn't Wait, know. the blue and purple ones? No, that's the blue. The one that looked like basically... Uh, the blue and gold ones? Yeah. The one that looked like regular Schmack? Yeah. So we thought they were regular Atreides, uh, like a regular uh, Space Marines. Came. Boom. Snuck us. Right there. I start boxing. I start squad back. Look behind me. No Salamence by me. And you already know. There was some there was some psychers in there. So they got in my head a little bit. I got so mad. <laughs> I got so mad. I turned around, chased the Salamander, and killed my whole fleet. Now, I was tight with one of them, and you know, he still talks to me to this day. I still hear him. But after that, you know, I had, uh, I had to leave Salamander. I'm not lying. I had to leave. It was. And also, it was a million, too. I got beat up by them. That's weak. Right after I killed my fleet, That's weak. I got beat up by the blue ones. 
That stuff was crazy. You should have really took your anger out on the blue ones. See, I know me and my... I was mad because I was tired. I, know, I was mad tired. I know me and my space was... We stayed tight. Exactly. So we will never have a situation like that. That's why I always regret not going with you, bro. When you sit on space was. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, your 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 sinister tendencies was creeping up. So that's the only reason it, <laughs> we kind of split ways. By far the biggest threats. They are without number. Their legions Broken are up. everywhere. And, yeah, they're pretty scary. So, I promise... We're done with humans now. Let's the only thing humans. scary is how they keep coming back. Yeah, the Eldar. This is what I was talking about. They always talk about the Eldar. The Eldar, or also known as the Eldari, which are a super hyper specialized and very technologically advanced race of, well, that design is kind of good. They were as well responsible right. for the creation of Slanesh, the newest demon. Hey, that, that's some new lore you didn't know about. Debauchery on a world-ending scale. See, back in the day, it was just Korn, Zeech, and Nurgle. And the Eldar... Bro. There was only three? You gotta you gotta meet up with them. You gotta meet up with them. You gotta know... I don't know how to meet up with none of these goofies, yeah, You bro. gotta know where the low, whereabouts is. You, no, you I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, need, I don't need to meet up with none of these goofy bustle nests. She's hiding from me. I, I won't take that double of disrespect. Oh, bro, very, you will find her if you meet ancient. them. Millions of years. These Eldar, however, have a bit of a sensory problem. You know, every what does that kind mean? Of pain or feeling that you have is a little bit amplified compared to the normal. That's hard. However, with Eldar, as their race advanced so excessively, and they became so re self reliant, and everything became so easy. There was no requirements. Oh, they they, they said we're OP. Anymore. There was no shortages. <laughs> That's basically what they said. Everything was basically done. Everyone was so comfortable. And that comfort Dang. breeded this weird sedation. And that sedation. Breathed the requirement that's a hard, that's a hard more character. and more debauchery. Is it just me or the way how he explained this is hurting my brain? <laughs> Bro, you, it was when so everything slow. Everything you have can be that's so hard. easily acquired. That's hard. What the freak is that? I don't know what it is. this road of pure debauchery. All of the senses the Bro, Eldar had all these that were so powerful. <laughs> things like he feeling, had that happiness, sadness, got some dark web pictures and off just this evil and good all need to be satisfied and satiated. And the they need to satisfy all their species, their emotions. So it just became weird. With worse and worse debauchery. It started off with things like sex and drugs. Hey! More rampant because of these. Are the <laughs> Why you look like that? To when requirements for living are so easily accessible. It would get to the point that made Sander Cohen and Bioshock <laughs> look sane. Oh my god! That dude right, goofy. This is the kind of debauchery it led to. It was constantly satisfying that and satiating these sexual and uh, yeah, sadistic or masochistic fantasies that only elevated and elevated. And this was species-wide. People started going down darker, more depraved, they got the Joker? and more violent paths as time went on. However, some people didn't entirely take to that. that some of the sense. Eldar were looking at this depraved species that of Eldar and them. said, I uh, no thanks for me, okay, dog. Okay, so I'm some chilling. of the elders was like, y'all tripping. These are the craft world Eldar. They left on these giant, craft world is a bad name. Sized starships called craft worlds. They believed in learning the old ways of the Eldar and pushing away from this depravity and debauchery and going back to their main roots. And so they would segment themselves on these giant what? craft worlds. What is that worlds supposed to be? Far in That's the one of their uh, continental space. craft worlds. They even had this thing mm. called the Webway. Remember what we what? mentioned about warp travel with the Imperium? This is getting the more Eldar crazy. Way safer called a Webway. Oh, this the Eldar Webway is that's a hard. That's a hard. I would do. It's kind of thing. And in that pocket dimension, there were also more horrible, depraved groups and clans. He said it's better. Their time in there. It is better, but if you imagine the debauchery was bad already. These were debauchery X10. So all of this continued. And Jay, you remember that? Remember the web world? Yeah. When we was when we was ramp when we was basic guardsmen, the Rambo guardsmen. Mm -hmm. Remember, there was a certain point. <laughs> Maybe wondering why we're so qualified to be all these thieves, and they just allow us to be this. They don't. Want, they don't allow us to do anything. I take everything I have by force. But still, they still it's allowed. They accept it or they get washed. They still allowed you to become one, though. <laughs> they don't. They don't allow me. I had to. I had to kill the Space Wolf Commander. Most of your things. I'm not lying. Most of your things was by force, but still. It was always by. They could have easily came in, jumped in. They could have, but they respected me as a warrior. When we was a Rambo, we we was on a mission, right? Mm -hmm. We was spying on some orcs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and we, we, we was about we was we was about to head base and by hey yo, 
we found their nest. Call we about game. to go, we about to go crazy. Game, you know like, what I'm saying? So retreat, but we about to go in first. Look, we were front linesmen. Yeah, they were saying they were saying wait for the space marines, but you know. <laughs> Accidentally glitched, <laughs> head glitched into the, <laughs> into the webway. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. me and you got stuck there for five years. That thing altered our bodies, made us taller, and that means we, we was able to qualify for space marines. You know, buddy, they was asking about how we got how we the, got taller. The lungs and the other uh, taller. And the, that thing altered our body, bro. That's why. That stuff altered our body. And so when we finally, after many slaughtering, like we was Doom Slayer in here. <laughs> we was slaughtering our way through. Doom Slayer would be proud. And they said, what was you eating? <laughs> Their flesh. What are they talking about? Oh, well, like, and after many time, we came out of that joint mm -hmm. taller. We we didn't know how tall we was because all of them was kind of big up there. They were, we was all shorter than them, smaller. As we, we was basically the same size. As time went on, the slaughtering that was going through, we we just we we didn't we didn't know it. We was we was eye height with them. <laughs> we was gaining, gaining XP the whole time. So when we come out. We came out. We was like, yo, we could qualify for space space marines. Mm -hmm. And so we both once we came out, the the first chapter we saw, the salamanders. They was Call black, that. we was black, yeah. joined them, and I was like, yo, y'all kind of weak. So when I discovered the space wolves, I was like, me, you know what I'm saying? I had I had to join them. They said, bro, you already a salamander. You can't mm, yep. challenge to a 1v1. I took my armor off. I took my armor off. You didn't even have armor on, yeah. Yeah, I took I my dog doom, because I had to show them, I, had, I, had, I got it like that. Mm. Me, and the rest is history. I already know what happened. But And I had to become the, the commander of uh, salamander, because when you're left, we lost a lot of our power, so obviously I had to come higher up. Y'all don't know my I'm, 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 my name is my name is feared throughout history. Y'all y'all don't know about me yet though. Y'all don't know about me. Oh, baby. Until Slanesh just no, Slanesh. all that emotion, all that mental no. well thought processes, I suppose. All of this in such a condensed space. Don't forget this is all being shot, all their souls as well into the warp. All this we know the gravity right into the warp. So what happened? Boom! Slanesh was this burned came down from that and night? killed off ninety percent of the entire Eldar population. Untold I didn't know she was that wrong. Yeah, my life. Two had their souls ripped from their bodies and their actual fleshy bodies devoured by Slanesh demons. Dang. The entirety of the Eldar I race was, there was for that. eaten alive and their souls consumed to the Prince of Pleasure. All of them got fucked up. It was so bad that it needle? literally ripped a warp hole into the fabric of the materium called the Eye of Terror. That's literally this like quasi horrifying game. Right, I said before last episode, from that's not hard. The materium that and the immaterium right next to Kane. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it is horrifying. So this Slanesh, also known as Name the Who Thirsts by the Eldar, <laughs> <laughs> the entire population, except single-handedly is crazy. Those in the craft worlds were actually not affected by this, as they were so far in the reaches of the galaxy. That crazy crack, that burst, yeah, just chilling. only affected the ones in the center. So these craft world Eldar were able to escape, but Slanesh got their sights on them. Every time an Eldar was so that's on sight. No lie. Say you summon me, bet. <laughs> it goes straight to Slanesh, craft world or not. What about those people in the web? Wait, if they die, well, imagine that giant. If they die, they go slaves to Slanesh. That's they crazy. Were only able to just would it be me, bro? Barely get a grasp onto you. Slanesh was just barely able to hold on. These people are the Dark Eldar. Are also known as the Drukhari. The okay, Eldar so Drukhari this is what they was telling me so in the comments. Massively small. It is minuscule compared to any of the other pop well, most of the other populations in the universe. The that Eldar would be a are free. consistently having issues trying to get their population up because as their souls are constantly being they need you in there, you easily raise the out. They realize thousands by their thousands entire millions. species is doomed. And they understand it very well. Since the time of the fall, our race has been haunted by what we, in our reckless pursuit of hedonistic indulgence, gave birth to. Though our dreams once overturned worlds and quenched suns, mm. we are now but fitful shadows clinging to the edge of existence. All the stars in the sky cannot blot the out the hateful glare of the red moon's eye. 
The birthing place of the great enemy pulses with all the malice of a demon that is dreaming, casting its shadow over all we have ever done and all we ever shall. Every twisted strain of this might be one of the this is one. sad, the low key. Leads me to this this is getting time, kind of to this beat place, down by life. It is clear that the final battle awaits me at the ancient Knowing that your race world. will be extinct is crazy. with the likes of which has not been seen since the Monkai warred amongst themselves and their corpse of a seer fell to You know they're depressed when they're writing this alone, bro. It's coming and all my steps lead towards it no matter that I walk other paths. Mm. I see the stars stain red we with need to the help blood out. of the Monkai and though their wars do not concern me, I would gladly let them destroy one another. I know that to avoid this fight is to condemn my race to inevitable doom and though all I see is what? darkness, I know that I will not flinch from my destiny. They hard. That's hard! They, feel different. they like that though! Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. <laughs> Let's talk about cute plastic models. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. The first playable race we have for the Eldar are the Craft World Eldar, and living in those Craft World starships I mentioned sure, earlier. And each of them have their own kind of Craft World, almost like a Space Marine Legion. Each Craft World is its, in itself its own special you know, that kind of, of a game. And the Eldar bro. themselves the game, are but... very fast and rely a lot on trickery. They are squishy, a bit weak, but they're very in tune as psychers. Okay. Tons of psychers across the entire Eldar population, and their weaponry and abilities are fast and extremely I'm hard lie, hitting, but of course rather of fragile. Understanding an Eldar's brain is an exercise of futility. They are all over the place in confusion and trickery on a whole Dude, galactic scale. Head. They fight weird, they think weirder, and Eldar in their own right Really rely the on this to their species alive. I'll be a they need if I have to think about joint. deception the is and drippy. strangeness yeah. of what they do if they truly want to not be immediately murdered and slaughtered. I'll take that cone off my head though. Entirely small population. However, I must say that it seems like their population is getting slightly better. These craft worlds hold millions upon I mean, millions of people. Have some and right, as bro. they continually, you know, reproduce and have their craft worlds expand, losing a few people in battle, while hurts a lot, they aren't really losing what's extremely We could send them to our breeders, to bro. They'll, it's they'll not like every single death up. means the death of their species. It seems like they're kind of on the upturn a little Slanesh. bit. being sucked into Slanesh every time someone dies. But they are definitely doing and a little better than they were before. Those who be trying to say, oh, Sinesha, the prince of stop. They said it's, it's formless. You know what I'm saying? It, it really uh, it really is she for real. You know what I'm saying? I, I, remember, I remember that, bro. Hey, if I remember mind, that. Because all y'all be like, don't tell him he's the guy. Like, no, I'm saying no, no, no. He said it, it had no form, bro. And you know look at the picture saying? he's using, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it, mainly takes a dy dy it mainly takes a dominantly female shape, bro. So stop it, bro. It's a she for real, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got a few couple if we wanna be if we wanna be politically correct, it's a it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Although are fast, doing? cunning, and what they don't make up for in tankiness, they make up for an extremely advanced weaponry. They also call humans bonkai, which is something I mentioned earlier. Bonkai. Um that is a derogatory Monkai, slur for humans in the They're calling us monkeys, bro. That's um, racist. Why is it called Monkai? Well, it's because you can't they act like they was a human first too, people bro. monkeys. They're literally calling us monkeys. That's tabletop, racist, bro. Exactly what I said. Hey, it ain't racist. Specific, at least. It's like all of us Generally monkeys. pretty squishy. Do you, do you remember what we did to those those uh those craft world elders that called us monkeys? We had them trapped for like three months. Remember, remember, remember what we did to that female one? Hey, they talk about we population problems. Yeah, you have a couple kids out there. You know what I'm saying? A couple of them, but it was. They wasn't from them though. See, like, I haven't had a kid because I went in the mail cell, so I had to, you know what I'm saying, bang them up real quick. <laughs> in both ways. Mm. Hey, hey, yo. Hit like <laughs> I didn't hear about that one. And move at Mach 5. Fast, hit hard, die fast. Are they ugly as feet? Exactly how it sounds. They've been good for a very long time, too. We bring only death and leave only carry on. Mm -hmm. It is a message even a human can understand. Hey, yo. Eldar. So, Drew That's Kari, hard. That's let's hard. cover the dark Eldar. So those people I mentioned in the webway, in the super deranged mm -hmm, yeah, we are, we and we already the depraved people of the Eldar, we in the webway way. they didn't quite get a hold onto them. So they actually like, mm. has them, but it has them on like by the pinky finger. And they're slowly Who's being living in those, by like, Slanesh, but they found out, out they can building. stave her off. By doing Slanesh things. 
The Dark Eldar are really the by far people. the worst, most horrifying, disgusting, <sighs> depraved, and brutal race in all. Imagine not of trying Warhammer to be brutal, but being the most brutal. These of are entirely a group of people whose full purpose to save their species from extinction, to go into planets, raid them, and take as many slaves as they possibly can to torture them for one, five, ten, twenty, a million years. Because that torture will keep them A million them years is crazy. They look very yeah. BDSM style too. They definitely have a lot more spiky bits and they have a lot more of that kind what of leathery mean, bro? black look to them. But let's Example, let's say you are an upstanding I thought you said let's citizen, examine I'm like, Living life on a regular planet You get invaded by the Necrons The oh, Necrons, Necrons will shoot you with a de-atomizer And you will be destroyed in a millisecond oh, dodge that And that's it Not the worst way to go Right, right uh, You are invaded by Chaos Marines or something You that's take a bolter cool. shot to the head Or a chain sword across your stomach And you get cut in half Painful, but not the worst Right uh, The Orcs arrive They beat you to death Okay. Hurts, and then what if they you think know, you back materials. alive, though? They eat you alive. Okay. It's pretty rough. The Dark Eldar. The Dark Eldar. Uh, this is going to get a little graphic. I apologize. You pray you die. You don't. You are instead taken as a human slave. Nah, Your bro. life will be endless work and <sighs> agony 24-7. They will make sure you cannot die as your pain satisfies them. They will hook you up to all manner of torture no, devices. They will inject pain-based, like, stimuli drugs directly into your nervous system. They will slowly run razor blades across your skin. No, I forgot that, I forgot that. I just thought about that design they had earlier with each deltoid being an arm. I was thinking about the whole time. I'm like, as he's talking, I'm like, hold on, bro. That actually makes sense if you want to have three arms. It kind of don't make sense for, like, the body to have them. Like, it's kind of weird, like, where they growing out of. If each deltoid had a, even though each deltoid have, like, many ones in there, but if you talk about, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? That actually makes some sense right there. Like, I feel like, you know, you move the deltoid or something, the arm move or something. I feel like that makes more sense than, like, three arms like this. But look, hey, this is, this is what they don't know. This is what they don't know, though. You know mm. what I'm saying? Bro, so... They might not know. They might not know because it probably got destroyed. Remember when we was back in the um that one joint, the the webway. Yeah, well, yeah, webway. We was still, we was still, um, we was still um foot soldiers. Oh, uh, we were still chilling. We was the Rambo's. We was the Rambo's. We wasn't, we wasn't Space Marines yet. Like fourth year in, right? It was like fourth year in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we we was, there was we the, was about to get. We was like, it was so we was we was getting we was, we was building we the was, materials. We was almost out of there. Yeah, we was almost out of there, and I you really saved my life for real because I was I went to go hunt because you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. big dog had to get the food you know what I'm saying because y'all don't know we was cannibals we was eating people enjoy like that we had to survive I didn't mean that's it I was just cooking the joint you know he had to get some more food on but but gee they, they don't they don't know so so let's listen listen I went boom I'm trying to go I'm getting food I'm hunting them right. Mm -hmm. Get jumped by some weak old elders. I'm like, we, we, we. <laughs> that was light you know what though, yeah. I, I swept through, right? I didn't so even know that, though. My spidey senses told me to weave, right? I weave, head in the bushes, ninja style. Dark elders pulled up. Just one. He started doing some crazy. He was banging you out? No. I, I just told you, I weaved into the bushes. All right. So I'm hiding. I'm staring. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Bro, really, yo, bro, really mechanicalizing this dude, bro. Right, so he started taking, he started taking, it's bro. Funny though, know? he, yeah, it was. He started taking, bro, <laughs> right. Cool. And so the corner of my side, I, I really see Slanesh for real. This is the first time I ever seen Slanesh in my freaking life. That's why you was going crazy like that. That's why I chased. So I chased her, right? It's she, her first. She was coming at me. She thought about be easy prey. I came at her. <laughs> then she turned around and ran. She, was <laughs> she ran. That, that sounds scary. And so I'm chasing her, right? I go primal. I go on all fours. <laughs> I start chasing her, right? Because remember, our bodies mutated, so we got yeah. taller. I didn't know how lengthy I was, so I start leaping tree we to tree. Saw each other for real. I went tree to tree. <laughs> <laughs> going through bushes. I think that part is kept. I saw no broken down branches. Nah, nah. That, so look, look, you wasn't there. So I'm going tree to tree. I'm like, I'm agile. I'm like, Naruto in this joint. You know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy, right? I'm about to get to her, right? Right when, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to get her, right? She's like, she's like Lily. She goes past a cliff. I didn't see a cliff. I was so locked in. I only seen her, 
right when I was about to chase it, you're like, stop. I slid. Moment of moment of realization come to me. I was right on that edge, bro. I was right on the edge, bro. You were still psyched out too. That's you know the craziest part. You were still psyched out too. You were like, I need flesh. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey. I just saw that joke, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, those was dark days, bro. Those dark days. Bro. Only us, and bro. Pull out your teeth and your fingernails one by one. They will remove your appendages oh and your skin and wait for it to grow back so they can do it again. They will murder and torture and use the that R word that dude really look like rape your entire murder, family bro. in front of you and do the exact same thing to them. You yourself will also be rhymes with grape anywhere and everywhere I wonder what he's possible. referring to. And this will occur for 20 <laughs> so years awesome. until you are no longer satisfying to them. And then you will be contorted, crushed, Dude, yo, that, and twisted Sorry about me. into some form of trophy. A fleshy Honestly, though, once you're a trophy, you kind of chilling, though. I'll be clean. It's a little pain, but it's like... Stand. Or perhaps a wonderful hat. While you are, of course, still alive and breathing, the grape part will happen to me. You will become a moaning, fleshy trophy. Yeah, it won't happen to me either. It will be consensual. <laughs> and that is you what like happens when you are taken boy. by the Dark Eldar. They are the most depraved, most horrifying race in all of 40k. They look the part, and they do it so they all don't die. I they are literally forced know, to bro. do this. Because if they don't, Slanesh's grip will get harder and they will have their souls pulled that she away. Got you like, so long as they keep doing free. this, so then she's like, you're doing good, man. You're doing solid. You keep, you keep that shit up, you elf. I, I might have to become a, a space wolf again. I might have to kill all the Eldar so Celeste can reveal herself to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, bro. Your, your, your skills are resting. Are, 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 those, are those numbers dwindling? <laughs> I might have to call my OG Space Wolf see if they're still alive. But the craft, the craft world Eldar is building their joint up, bro. They they gonna no. do nothing against Bastards. me in my that's, my clan. That's, that's the Dark Eldar. That's the Drakari. They are I don't care about the Drakari. They are actually kind of like Eldar. They were telling the location. They are even squishier than the Eldar, but they hit generally even harder. I want to get one of Fast those, though. They seem pretty useless. Skirmishers, really quick speed, like get around yeah, the damage, get away, away kind of stuff. That's mostly Dark Eldar. Look at the definition of Grim Dark in a dictionary. You'll find a picture of the Dark Eldar and Sev from Public Commando. Why? A quote from uh, Mr. Vect. We are the lords of despair, masters of terror, dread and agony are our meat and wine. Why don't they and just they join the less? Indeed. <laughs> why don't they, they just join the less? I don't Some know the why the, what the hold up is, man. Clowns. Okay, okay. Guys, right, oh, this, to this, this the Harlequins are. This point on, we have not seen none of this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's it's really like these for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So guys, lock lock in. Bro. Get, you a bizarre ready? race of Eldar. Right, They're ready, demonic right. clown performers. They're like a weird mix of Sander Cohen from Bioshock right, and okay. Jin from League of Legends, okay. but in a more clown theme. They're they're artists yeah, they of do look death goofy. and perfectors of their craft. They do mm. not belong to craft worlds or any of the weird Drukari people. They guard something called the Black Library, which is this hey, yo, giant they all black. Oh, my knowledge deep in the, <laughs> the heart of the Eldar <laughs> Webway, and also guarded oh, by the god though. named Kegarok, I believe is hey, how you yo. pronounce his name. He is the laughing god, but. It's the Eldar's laughing god, and these are the Harlequins, the Harlequin clowns. These are Eldar clowns. What do you mean, Okay, so imagine the things that an Eldar, these depraved individuals would find funny, and this is the god of that. It's it's a horror clown. These are gods of horror for us normal people. For them, they're like, oh, oh, oh it's so funny. They're all. No, bro. I saw one of these things in a circus, bro. Bro, I re bro, these those those really they're really goofies for real. <laughs> goofy really goofy. I don't care what he says, bro. I didn't even think that thing was a race, but I'm surprised hearing this. I'm like, did me see that at a a a, a craft amusement park? We was like, we was like, yo, those are off day. We don't speak about that. We don't speak about. We, we wasn't on, we we was on, on the clock. Yeah, we wasn't on the clock. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, <laughs> but I'm the same, bro. I saw one of these. They were doing some goofy joint. We live. We love. We had to do some joint. You know. But, dying horribly. Yeah. <laughs> honk, honk. They're very bizarre and difficult to Seems describe. Goofy, bro. Uh, they've escaped the ruinous you powers can't of describe them, somehow. Bro. <laughs> but their main thing is guarding that black library. And the Harlequins just 
exist. That's what we deal. Colors. That's what we was there for, there for real. Barely any I'm trying to get back in my house. <laughs> They're demon, demon clowns. I I'm not sure. I, I got a quote. It is too easy for an Eldar to embrace the obscene virtues of chaos. Uh, for Slanesh is nothing more than a manifestation of the Eldar mind. These people are probably just goofy humans, right? Form. Human morality is meaningless to the Eldar. And to the dark side of the Eldar mind, all life is to be expended at a whip. Ooh. Cruelty and generosity are but the impulse of a moment. Ooh. Beauty sure. and sensuality are virtues that can be expressed in bloodshed just as easily course, as in bro. song. On, no. To an unfettered nah, Eldar easier, mind, though, okay. there is <laughs> what is that melody? Magic, <laughs> yeah, but saying, merely on, a now. wave of perfect existence fulfilled by its own savage momentum. They're Ooh. very strange. The Harlequins, Drukari, Eldar, they are the Low key, they're clean. They're clean. Bro, I ain't seen nothing clean in real life yet. They're we clean. We warrant this, bro. Like, they have some clean quotes, but we always see them goofing, bro. Yeah, that's because they're clowns. They're meant to be funny. <laughs> Laugh. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> How are they clean, though? You know what I'm saying? That picture might be clean. See, you can't take them have. nowhere, bro. We went there. I'm over having fun. They couldn't make a blast, so we blew up the spot. We had to go. We left in bloodshed, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, why you, why you do this, bro? Yeah. Me and my space was goofing. We don't talk about that. We was in the back goofing. He over here getting mad at our killing people. No, we don't talk about that, bro. bro. This is why we're wanted in every <laughs> galaxy. Humans. <laughs> they still want <laughs> <won't> us, though. <laughs> we walked through that joint. They range from rekindling their civilization to horrifying murder and also clowns. They are all over the place, but honestly, they represent quite well and mm. are rather interesting. Which one's the clown one? The one in the middle? Everyone. That's Duh. the Nash, so, ain't it? Yeah, Eldar. Now, bugs. Let's go! Let's go, Tyranids! Tridods. The bugs! The bugs! The Tyranids. Now, you want to say something a lot more fun, a little more simple than all this crazy Eldar shenanigans? Yeah. Let's stop the Tyranids. They're That's the thing I've been hearing about. Like Zerg. Yes, Hell yeah, they look like Zerg. You want to know why they look like Zerg? Because they were actually supposed to uh, be what Zerg were. Uh, apparently, Starcraft Ain't was no supposed to be a game, bro. game in the beginning. Hence why they look so much like Eldar, if we, Zerg, bro, and the Imperium of Man. If we watched this video before, bro, we would have knew that Starcraft came after. Well, like, kind of split. Boy, oh, man. I already knew. They told us that in the comment section. That's my thing. I thought we were new before we even did that. Like, kind of space marine -y. Those Marines, huh? They look a little bit space marine -y to me. Yeah. Maybe. They look like goofy things. They look like the most really basic. Up on that one, Games Workshop, didn't you? Tyranids are a giant infestation of un... Fathomable like uh, These are giant, extremely bio-advanced hive mind organisms that are basically Ooh, all about polies. absorbing as much biomass as they possibly can to evolve and mutate Cthulhu, to be extremely potent and powerful and kill and eat anything in their path. They are probably the least evil faction in all 40k because all they want to do is eat shit. They want to arm the How is that not low key? Evil though. Low key, that's he's they're innocent people. All man, man all I want my dudes. That ain't innocent. I just want my people to eat, like to for real. Dude, that, that's <laughs> innocent. Bro, that ain't innocent. That's, I'm about killing people for territory. I just want food. I'm hungry. Nah, it's crazy. You can't say a so a lion is not innocent. A lion is innocent. He, he he hungry. He gonna eat a deer. A lion ain't no innocent too. Ooh, stubby growling. I eat a deer. Bro, I'm at the stubby growling. I might eat my kids. Like I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's survival of the fittest. I'm fitter. That's what that I mean, galaxy. bro. They These kids taking on whole world. Food. Also, this tyranid hive mind has a presence in the warp. In fact, tyranids in their own right have a massive okay. presence in the warp. They have a thing called the shadow. Why do things look like your mind when they are bro. coming in to my, 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 you, planet, me. They have this weird ability to kind of cut off the warp on all the psychers on that planet. And how do you get that help you across can't do the psych? stars? Well, you need that to walk to do that for interstellar travel. Right. So with people unable to call for help from the Tyranids, these are just easy pickings. And an entire giant Tyranid hive fleet comes out of orbit and just will massacre, absorbing all that biomass and turning them and all of their other Tyranids no. into even uh, more advanced monsters. Cinematic with they come in so many varieties crazy, too, bro. all and based on the what is That's important. Hard. Tiny little ripper swarms Rico for roaches. scouting and having little dudes eat people up. 
to the Hormagons, Termagons, they look like regular, Steelers, regular, all they look the way like to Dark Eldar. the Hive Guard and the Exocrines and the Swarm Lord to Hive Tyrants and their giant they battle do. fleet and even something as crazy as the Hierophant Bio The Tyranids come in all forms and sizes depending on what they require. They are extremely good at they anti-biological are. weaponry. There is no they way you can flank them or blight them. They have extremely strong armor and carapaces and such. Tyrians are, are nigh perfect organisms and are pretty spooky when they're it clean. comes down to they are clean. Honestly, they, they built kind of regular though. Like, there's nothing really he, crazy he about them. Like, 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 that's not really crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Horrifying <laughs> A little bit, but. Jay, Jay, see, look, look, they saw me for real? Bro, I remember me and you was, not see me pulling bloody in the nah, back. Nah, bro. bro, me and you split up, bro. I, I was with I was with a battalion. I was with, I separated to a different battalion. Y'all was y'all was entering y'all was entering a little a little base plate bomb. I split up to do some recon, and we really got jumped for real. I, I came out. I was the only, I, I'm the only one who came out, bro. I, I I had a whole spear stuck in my shoulder. I kept fighting. I, I ran out of ammo. Bro. I ran out of ammo towards, towards orb off and start killing them with it. I ain't see that, bro. Cause you wasn't there, bro. <laughs> I ain't see that, bro. I, I, I was by myself, stabbed in the leg, stabbed in the shoulder, tore their orb off, no ammo, had to drag both my homies down. Cause they got had all they got buried bodies, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't confirm I got the that, stars bro. to prove it, bro. They're right here, bro. Where, bro? It's in your Dog, heart. It's right mind. here, bro. It's right here and right there, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys are so be, bro spread across the galaxy. And you know what the most terrifying part of the Tyranids is? We might be surrounded. There have been like around six or seven Tyranid Hive fleets. Behemoth, Kronos, all these different kinds of Hive okay. fleets. And they've all arrived in the galaxy from different points. Different sections of the Milky Way galaxy that's, that's have had different Tyranids come through. And that is horrifying. Because as far as we know, we could just be surrounded I can just on squeeze all through there. sides by Tyranids. The only reason you may not hear a whole lot about Tyranids is because it's a little bit hard to have a bunch of story off of one hive mind genocidal monsters. All these giant bugs swarming in, killing and eating everybody That's and evolving. Crazy. Oh, I mean, as cool as there are some cool characters, the Swarm Lord, Old One Eye, you can't really have a whole bunch of major character based stories around them. Mm, as yeah. awesome as they are, they're simple. They want to eat you. They want to eat but you. But you kind of like, there's no they smart ones? Simple bugs. If you want something a little more complex, talk gene stealer cults. I can have all the pot okay. I can. I get around faster than walking. So gene stealers. I, 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 can rock, I can get down I can with just this. Sit on my They're kind of basic. Gene stealer cults I mean, basic are name. a special brain of Tyranid that can slowly infect themselves into different kinds of society. Those are basically and by infecting people. them, they can rise up to where they all pray and believe in these re regular humans, pray and believe into their Tyranid hive mind gods. And these brood lords and I think they're called. Each chilling. I don't like that. They can turn an entire world, all based into gene stealers, and these are called gene stealer Bro. cults. An entire high That's world. Crazy. It better not be no Jason Hell. Just put a D in your mouth to transform the Servants of the Tyranid masters just by infecting them and screwing with their genetic code a little bit. They also have this cool like Mad Max look. Which is really neat. They are definitely one of the bigger threats to the Imperium besides Chaos. I, I keep saying they're OP. Threat to the Imperium. They're up there though, because you dig Man, this. Imperium is battling everyone, bro. Asshole. Hey, there yo, is a cancer eating at the Imperium. Leave. With each decade, it advances deeper, leaving drained, dead worlds in its wake. Hey, this horror, this abomination, has thought and purpose that functions on an unimaginable galactic <laughs> scale. And all we can do is to try to stop the swarms of bioengineer monsters. The world eventually going to get spawned. There's going to be no humans, bro. We have given the horror a name to no. salvage our fears. We call it the tear. Yeah, what you talking about? Dude, once we're, gone, once we're gone, bro, there will be no humans. I'm about to say, because as long as I'm alive, because I'm officially about 3,000 years old or something like that. You know? I mean, shoot, but it's like, we don't know how long we had left to live. Like, we, we like one of the built different ones. After after me, you reset it to Earth. You know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I had to, like, create a new timeline type joint. Uh,. You know, we 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 be maintaining peace and joy. Sometimes, like we all see, we go on these breaks yeah. and joy. We really hold it back to tear this, real. Like, like we over here like getting back. stronger, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? With, like without us, y'all would be dead for real. Like that meteor that almost hit Earth, here it is. You know what I'm saying? We stopped. What it. we do? We do it. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, we really blew it up for real. Like but. <laughs> You but know, you know, we gotta get away from the earth so no tear in this scum yeah. could like infect some of these yeah. people, you know, so stop it's not like the zombie virus, but <clears throat> we chillin' know, we chillin' know. We need race. But if it is aware of us, where our children will save y'all, bro. Nothing but <laughs> when we, when we bleed, bro. They're cool. Yeah. I mean we was doing that ever since. But five. I think it's cool as the orcs. <laughs> finally! Finally, bro. Y'all been telling me about these orcs and I haven't been hearing about these orcs, bro. I'm on. like, oh shoot, these orcs you're gonna probably have a long segment. A whole V? Nah. This much. This much, bro. I swear, I see a little bracket right there, bro. That's a big bracket. That's like bigger than this one. No, but they, 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 look, look. All, from there to there, been all about freaking Eldars, bro. Come on, bro. This whole ending put should be about orcs. If it's not about, if this whole ending not about orcs, bro, I'm going to heat up. Nah, bro. We're God finishing this. Why, bro? Orcs, 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 orcs. Shut up. Orcs. <laughs> what orcs? So, yes, the, the green monsters, the green tide, the green skins. These orcs, they are in fact a race. Whoa, green skin? Hold on, you racist? I won't call them green though. They have archaic weapons, they're they big boys, off, they have axes, and they have got big old teeth, and they want to kill everything, and there are so many of them. Okay. The only reason they haven't taken over the entire galaxy is they can't, can't stop murdering me? each other. Orcs are oh, so okay. cool. Orcs don't have philosophy. Why are they cool, Orcs don't have like... existential crisis. What matters is who's the biggest orc. You listen to that guy, because he the biggest orc. He big orc. Big orc knows best. He you win the though. power of imagination. Really like damage. Of all the races I have battled throughout the galaxy, the orc is the hardest to comprehend. They wage war with machines that should not work, care little for strategic gains, and are just as likely to slaughter each other as the enemy. How does one battle an enemy that defies all logic? As an orc, By you're, you're enjoying Bro, life. Bro, that's the strat, though. You're given. Your whole How can you predict God. what I'm doing if I don't know what I'm doing? Easy. If I pull out a stick and it shoots you, don't look at me. I'm, it's a gun. Easy. Wipe out all sticks? Come on, now. If they make one out of thin air, then we have to wipe out air. Like, bro, like, that's what that's, bro, this is what I'm saying, bro, like, orcs are fire, bro. Okay, I see, I see what y'all mean, bro. The orcs are, are really dope for real. The purpose is to get up and beat each other to death because you can. The biggest orc is the man who understands everything. He is the boss. And okay. orcs that makes have this really sense. weird, like, big, dumb, stereotype British accent. Which is just hilarious to me. This Those is the opposite of mind over matter. Yeah. You like to hey, yo, fight. That, that looks like a head cropped on a, a thing, though. Because you want to wage war. You got your boss over there. And you better listen to the boss. Because if you don't listen to the boss, the boss will squish you. And make you an example for I the other orcs. Right. The only and then you can't orc. fight because the orc dead. Fall. And orc dead, is, orc dead can't fight because the orc dead. Orcs. They scrap together machines out of parts that don't make any sense. And because they believe, they have the mental imagination that that machine will run, it'll run. If that machine's out of gas, you're driving that machine with your fellow orcs, and the biggest orc is behind the wheel, and you run out of gas, some orc behind you is like, oh, oh, Zog, we're out of gas. And the big orc is like, like nah, no, we're tripping. not. I filled the fucking gas tank up earlier. And all the other orcs are like, oh, yeah, I, well, you did do that. Accurate. And then you turn the, the fucking mech back on, and it works again. The Bro, that's so funny. Yo, boss, run gas. Says who? Who said that? I just filled this up. Oh, you, you, you did. You did. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Why just Watch the gold turtle, too. Yeah. It was a big orc. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> they have gas? Probably not, but it works. The power of imagination. Yeah, they that's paint OP. things red because it makes them think they goes faster. They paint things purple because it's the sneakiest color. You want to know why? You ever seen a purple orc? Didn't fucking think so. Orcs are also... Right. Oh. I can probably hook it up right Hold now. Up. Hold up. Hold up. I can hook it up right now. Bro, work. the purple orcs be really sneaky people for real. The purple orcs are OP. I'm about, I'm about back to take in this the right Eldari right. time frame, so that back then they were called quirks and they were much larger and scarier and far more intelligent. They the now them. they're just orcs and they're big, dumb, and they smack things. But they're pretty spooky. 
They're not very well armored, but they hit really hard. Okay. And it's called the Green Tide because there are so many orcs. There are about as many orcs as there are Tyranids. Maybe more. Who knows? But they keep on, you know, murdering each other, so it's not too bad of it. Orcs are entirely comic relief. Their stuff is slapped together. That makes no sense. Their vehicles don't fun, work the way they're supposed to, but they work because they think it works, because they imagine that it works. Orcs care only about who is the biggest orc, and they will follow the biggest orc. And then if they want to be the biggest orc, they'll challenge the biggest orc. Can and then the when they go and they issue a wa, a wa is just war in orc, they murder yeah. everybody and everything in this giant hide of green orcs who are just excited well, really can't to be hitting real. something. Yo, who they don't is care it, that they're hitting I don't know, but they, or the they went kind of dummy or Tau or any of in between. They're just going to get to beat on, shit up. That's orcs. And on the Ooh, table, those are freaking fire orc. It had like this little joint, like some Shaolin wait, joint. Why not joint? He had a freaking uh, he had a freaking uh, blade in the joint. You know what I'm saying? He had like a little a little butcher saw blood on his joint, and he was just standing like this with a giant worm coming out. Like bro was really about to punch that joint. Like he's right there. Oh yeah, he kind of he kind of hard. I didn't see him. I, don't know, I didn't between. see him. They're he's just clean. To get the beat shit up. That's that like rats in the and on the tabletop, they are a total coin flip, and they're really fun. I have never met a salty orc player. Yep. I have never met someone who plays orcs orc and player. is ever just a bad guy or that guy. Oh, this, this, this thing I, I wanted to ask y'all, like, are you able, when y'all playing the tabletop, are you able to have, like, okay, my soldiers... Like I have, I have a couple of space marines, orcs, that's here, I'm that's, I, I mix it. and match. You know, <laughs> there's no way you only need, like, you only have to use one race or something. Like it's that. like okay, I got my army of chaos marines. I'm like, I have my army. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I have my army of. <laughs> He's like, who you want to get hit with first? It. it is all of them, them hitting you. To them because when you play them, you are completely submitting yourself to RNG. So here's the thing. Guards, yeah, we want to play real guards like when they shoot, they roll a dice, and on a four up, they'll hit their target. They have a 50% chance. Okay. Space Marines, pretty good. They hit on a three or higher. Okay. They're well trained. They're just custodians, they hit on twos because they're just super well trained. Oh. Orcs, they hit on a five or higher. But if they roll a six, they get to make another shot with anything from the dinkiest pistol what? to the biggest rocket launcher. It doesn't matter. Half of their stuff will blow up on a whim. Wha oh, bro. That's, okay, so I'm glad I, I learned a little bit of the rules. That's crazy. So the, the better the train, the more likely you're able to hit. Yeah, so. But I, for orcs, but for orcs, it's either a five or a six. If you get a six, you get another. You hit one. them, but then you get another shot. Which was anything. That's crazy. Percent, percent chance of explosion happening. What? One of their medics, if you roll a one to heal someone, you fuck up your surgery and you just kill an orc. What? They're so wacky and silly. But the thing is, is if you roll well, you roll high, and you keep rolling high, you are going to crush yeah. people. Cheat. And if you don't... I don't know why I keep rolling sixes. <laughs> That's what happens when you play orcs. It's a coin. Why, Kobe throw that as a salty Come when you play orcs because you play orc cheat. Things won't go your way. It's just the roll of the dice. You're playing a dice game. But if you're gonna have fun and you want to be stupid and you want to be silly, that don't, that don't you're, sound... you're gonna play some damn orcs. But on the opposite side okay, of the I might main orcs, bro. That's not like you're trying to cheese the opponent. I might main. I might main orcs, y'all. The real niggas. The Necrons are spooky, scary skeletons and very good. Hey, hold on, bro! We just had one little segment of orcs, bro. We bro. have one little teeth thing like these. What are you supposed to say to them? God damn, people are hyping up orcs, 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 orcs like this. Like, come on, bro. What they got a whole two-hour, thirty-minute movie. Like, what, what are the details of the movie? Nah, like, come on, bro. Like he just said, he just said they do stuff. They're dumb. Look at the card game. They throw dice. Like, bro, what? We learned so much card game. Come on, you gotta take me giving, bro. Bro. Again, they have a much more fleshed out lore than before. Yes, Back sir. in the day, they were just undead Egyptian space terminators, and they still look that way. But now they actually have a story. So way back in the day, oh, we had okay, the cool. They have a story. Kind of see a theme Honestly, here. I would want to be one of them, bro. If I stop, ever get reincarnated. Necron, Necron, they kind of fire. So the Necrons here bro. were this race of <laughs> generally <laughs> kind of shitty people. Not because they were personally shitty, but because their lives were awful. 
They were ill-fated to a horrible existence of like radiation and a terrible planet they lived on, though. and everything just really sucks. For Being them. a Necron here here <laughs> was just really <laughs> depressing. Wah, they wah. really were looking for immortality. <laughs> they were extremely reliant on the hope that they would eventually find the key to living forever and just stave off this horrible they have realized robots that they if they that advanced upon them, and therefore they could become the most dominant race in the galaxy. They don't get their and wish. They found this group. They're called the Old Ones. Imagine them kind of like the... Not actually stolen from Lovecraft. Or the Zalnaga in StarCraft, right? These Old Ones were these sp strong, oh, pretty much omnipotent beings. And it's they, the of course, picture. knew the key to immortality. So mm -hmm. Necrons mm -hmm. went to them and said, please, show us your ways. And the Old Ones said... No worries, G. Not really. They were a lot more humble about it. But they did not want to share their secret of immortality. Like, who would want to? Well, I would. I would. I would probably like two of them. I mean, like, trying to learn a martial art because I keep getting bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, please teach me a fighting style. Learn yourself. <laughs> like, oh, please! They're outside waiting for <laughs> me, bro. Uh, tell me at least a, uh, how to do a proper punch. Nah. Pull up YouTube. But I, I, I like, oh, look at me, man. I have no bones! <laughs> I see the Necrons just go to YouTube how to get immortality. <laughs> just go, he, he goes outside and just go, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, I understand now. Here, boom! <laughs> boom, boom! He starts banging out everyone now. No, he's now. just getting beat up. Oh, boom, oh, boom, oh. boom, boom! <laughs> I was about to... Getting beat up is crazy, bro. Of course, took this very well and waged war with them. Kind of under this Bruh, with the old man. ones? The Necron different dynasties didn't really like each other. But under this one man, the silent king, Ooh. he thought the best way to unite his race was if to that was, that was Necron, that would be war with the old ones out of spite for them keeping the secret of immortality to them. This was known as <laughs> Time to kill Splinter. <laughs> the turtles. <laughs> the turtles. Because if they were in the turtle situation, they, they would be turtles would be the dead and free. Gods, a whole I mean, race of people known as the Catan or the Catan. These so abs are just blocked, also blocked, blocked out, but then he has no muscle, muscle in his arms. And they too had the key to immortality. And so the Necrons went to them and said, hey, can you help us or not. fight off the old ones? Can you help us kill these old ones, you, the Catan? And the Catan said, yes. Don't worry, and in G. fact, we can help provide you with the immortality you so desperately seek. So the Silent King decided to make a pact with the Catan to allow them to accept this generous gift of immortality. You know the Catan them. that day was not feeling this, well. This, of course, had been a horrendous trap. And the Necrons were dragged in chains to this biotransference where their flesh was stripped from them, replaced so they with was doing that as humans? But a metal hollow shell as their souls were ripped from their body. Nah, that's actually kind of wild. The Catan. And the Catan fattened up. They got chonk on the souls of the Necrons. As this was their plan all along, they consumed the flesh and souls of the Necron tier and turned them all into unwilling robotic slaves just to serve their will. One and hate. Then, one, bro. That's the price of being a hater, bro. That's tough. Bro. That's the price of being a hater, bro. But that's looking sad, though, bro. Imagine, no, you, <laughs> imagine hating someone because they didn't teach you that technique. Bro. I mean, W reason, but like, because like, no, he trying to react the whole planet. Yeah. So he's like, yo, old head got died. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he put it out the secrets. He would have not been in the situation. <laughs> that ain't even me. But bro, Loki is the calm. Bro, Jay, you remember what happened, right? You don't. I don't. You well, don't. I think, you, I got, think, you went into a coma. Yeah, you I went into a coma, but I fight you. You remember bits and pieces. It's like it's kind of kind of scattered. You know, a coma be like I wake up. I already had many dreams after, while I was in the coma. After we we we, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, after you left the salamanders, you know what I'm saying? You was on my fleet with the space wolves until you figure out what you about to like. What you about? Yeah, to do. I said I about to join the chaos marines. We was about me and my me and my space wolves got bored and we wanted a challenge. So he's like, hold on. One of my space wolves like I heard a rumor. There was like some Necrons down south, and there's one planet they got took over. They're goofy. I'm like, oh, shoot, man, let's let's go see what they about. Cause you know we we was bored, so we were probably just banging some people like some Necrons, cause 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 a little ruckus, you know what I'm saying? So we get there, we just start killing some Necrons. We 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 lost a man, man. Then we had to get it back in blood. Why you killed our you killed our broly?
You get our boy. So we start banging, right? I didn't you, remember that. You even start, you start going crazy. Right? I didn't even remember that was the reason. I thought, thought I was just went there and like, something just happened. Nah, you was just chilling. And I was like, yo, Jay, they killed our boy, bro. Oh, I just came down. You start going crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, so we banging, right? Me, me, me. This week old Takan came out. Try to jump. <laughs> we banged this dude up. Boom, boom, boom. He started no, trying to do the thing. Sorry, just freaking my mouth. I just saw, I bro, saw an image. Bro, like, scared trying to run bro away. Bro, start trying to cheat. He, 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 he called his big body out. And now he started trying to blow up on us. We, we skedaddled real quick. Because he started trying to be weak. But before we left, we know we had to get it back in blood. We hit him with the big laser. The <laughs> bro had him all screaming and joy. Hit him in his eye. That's why they're blue for real. They was green. <laughs> he had to get replacements. <laughs> we go we had to sneak him. We got we, we hyperspaced out of there. Dude, all I remember is like that's what? how we got wanted. That's how that's why we're wanted in their planet. I just wonder like how did I get a concussion though? Like all of you, I, I remember freaking busy pieces. Woke up like a month later. Cause he blew up on you. He blew up. <laughs> Where was I in the middle? Like, <laughs> we was painted, bro. B oh, B yeah. B. You like, hold on, let me get a leak. Boom! <laughs> when you try to get your leak, he blew up on you, bro. That's like a you flew, hit a tree, broke your I neck. I wouldn't do that again. You know. I, <laughs> <laughs> After that, I was getting clowned, bro. I was getting clowned for that joint. I didn't even know what happened. Nah, bro. That was really weak, though, for real. Yeah, that was kind of weak. That's why we're wanted in that quadrant, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we might, I mean, when I get the game back together, we might come out here and just, just yeah. boys a little bit. Like, who can get me? Just add them, add, you gotta add our character. These are the most significant part of the story in this nah. whole thing, bro. They can't, they can't, you know what I'm saying? They. You know what I'm saying? They still on 40k War right now. It's still on 40k right now. Warhammer, Warhammer had one put on hush hush. You know yeah. Our, our 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 stories are too. Are We're kind of leaking the the bits and stories of them. They don't. They don't. They, they're they, not ready for us. Found this Necron army. They pointed Move, their bro. guns at the old ones, <laughs> and the Catan continued their domination of the stars and their genocide. What is that? Complete and full genocide of these old ones. The old ones did their best to stave it off. They even created other races, the Eldari and the Orcs, to try to fight off the horrifying stop them? army and the Catan above them. But there was absolutely no possible chance for them. And the old ones were absolutely extinguished. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these people are built different, bro. Their race completely Time to die, you, you. <laughs> full on 100% genocide. However, during all this, the Catan so just infatuated bro, with their victory, bones started related, fighting bro. each other for fun, for sport, and for small differences. Man, one of them was matter. mad though, he painted one. Of, with these over, overpowered people, they're gonna eventually hit each other at some point. And as they began just menially fighting each other, the Eldari and the Orcs actually started pushing on the Catan's borders a little bit, giving them a little bit of a run Damn. for their money. And as this continued, this is when the Silent King, who retained his consciousness, decided to leap into action. Let's go, that's kinda hard. Full scale revolt against their Catan masters. How and this revolt was bloody as the entire bloody with freaking organs and then freaking skeletons to destroy these star gods. They were able to just after suffering horrendous losses were able to turn the tide of the war. Dang. And they took these Katam and they blasted them. Because as these star gods are unkillable, they were able to break them. They mix in a little bit of hours of with them. It's still not and entrap them in giant stasis vaults to now actually be slaves to the Necrons. And with the Necrons having the entirety That's of their hard, old actually. gods enslaved to them, they, they got what they wanted in the run. Their Damn. race was about to be attacked by the overcoming new races, the Eldari and the Krorks. They and so what they old? did is they retreated into giant stasis tombs in order to preserve their energy and their strength for when one day they would be reawakened and they would be able to rule the galaxy that was rightfully theirs. <laughs> Dang, they really sleep. The Adeptus Mechanicus guy diddled with a green console. Hey, yo, we and now the Necrons are back and they see all these primitive races on their lawns and they think, get the fuck off of it. Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Super advanced and they are here to reclaim the galaxy that they so rightfully believe is theirs. Now, that tabletop, we haven't even seen one like yet. That. They're kind of tons of numbers. undead Egyptian skeleton robots that when they die, they just get right back up because they keep on reanimating. Hard to kill. Tons of crazy stuff. You can Easily, use I'll probably get one of those as units to fight with. Nah, that's weak. Pretty cool. The Necrons are the one of the three. That seems kind of broken. It seems like a broken unit. 
the Horus Heresy, the Fall of the Eldar, and the Awakening of the Necrons are all pretty substantial events. And the Necrons themselves are pretty pretty dang cool as well. Here's a good quote. Be one of them. Wonderful Dawn of War game. Lucky creatures, as long last you have found the tranquility of death. Mm. I was like you once, clinging to life and blind to the truth. When I like covered the more. truth, I too shuddered and pale with fear. Deep in these catacombs I was remade. Here my brethren slumbered for eons while the living grew like Ooh, weed. Wee. My lord knew this day would come. He had plans for us all. We would purge this world once more. So come, poor victims of life. Bro, we chill. will pray to tranquility in these crypts. Kronos will be a tomb world once more. No, nah, that sounds Carl terrible. Trays in the infinite especially. <laughs> little little <laughs> dickhead. But speaking of... <laughs> Both on Evo 3. Last race. Let's talk the towel. Why are you smoking? Okay, so these must be legit aliens. Yeah, this these no must be legit. One of them eating a Snicker bar, like he have a Coca Cola in his hand, like he's smoking that human pack. The other one eating some red. He have him a, a, a melted beef sandwich, carcass head human. The like, exact formation on? of the Tau Empire is not entirely understood. However, a long, long time ago... Why have they posted it at the anime girl? Up in the 40k world, that is. Why so is Imperial he? Some of that not nowhere near convenient uh, for the freaking towels, bro. And they saw a primitive race, blue people, smacking each other with the avatar? They thought, yeah, dumb Xenos race who gives a shit, and they bailed. Then this giant warp storm yo, occurred. Yo, are they right femboys? that major area, Ooh. unable to be breached. I'm gonna have to consider... Then, once that warp one. storm, 6,000 years later, subsided... Hello, those little sticks. Well, they decided to actually have no war of any kind and they all just chilling? unite together under one flag of the Tau Empire. And then Yo, they have to do that, bro. Starships and guns. How they went from hitting each other with sticks and to and mechs, and they are here world to peace <laughs> for the armored goods. fighters. That is generally the Tau Empire. Uh, they have Yo, how they more advanced than war? That's regular soldiers. Someone came, stop the violence. They were like, you right. Let's yeah. create stuff to conquer everybody else, though. No, they're like, bro, kind of spinning. And they all start talking to each other how to build uh, robots. Like, Connect the sticks. Ew, ew. Like, this is our biggest stuff. <laughs> the way they mined and did all this, bro. Homogenous group. All species can go it's, it's underneath the banner took two years. of the greater good. Yo. The greater good is their idea we learn of English fundamental too? <laughs> increase and help of all. In fact, they are most likely the most, like, the covenant in Halo, no, where hard. they have the overarching prophets, being the Ethereals, who are actually kind of dicks and, and like to pull at strings a little bit, but then oh, you have cool. all these different races directly underneath them, and they all work together in this big group as this large, That's actually kind of busted. race that tries to spread their weirdly pseudo-religious influence across the galaxy. The alien is not intrinsically evil. Do not hate him. Pity him, his ignorance. Seek to understand his differences and equate him with his inadequacies. Only then will he accept his place in the greater good. That's that hard! The the Bro. And if you're kind of... That, the okay. most regular aliens I've ever heard. So look, the aliens like, hold on, we got world peace. Yeah. We're going to spread that world peace by force. <laughs> y'all either going to be with us or die. We was chilling, but we, we want to make sure y'all chilling, but like... Your first a little, a little war, a little sticks getting hit in your face. That's hard because that's basically saying everyone, all violence will stop if y'all go under our religion. I think, I think it wouldn't because they're not them. But that's they, hard though. A, if they was able to do it, they might be able to get some other races after good deep programming. Yeah, join <laughs> our clan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They start going towards Get them. their sticks out, give them sticks. Like, that's hard. What their mainly big stick is, well, they're all about big robots and mechs. They have laser rifles and How rail guns. Are they, they got they giant like that? mechs with tons of missile pods and heavy rail rifles and rail guns. That's that alien and and burst cannons and ion accelerators and void shields and all this stuff. And that is generally what the town's all about. But you're probably thinking, Bricky, this doesn't sound that evil. Yeah. This doesn't sound very grim, dark, They just be chilling. And you'd be right. The Tau Empire really don't have that much of a horrifying, grim, dark style like everybody else. They're much more younger, new age thing. In fact, That's they're probably hard. a lot Ooh, younger less is crazy evil and a lot even better than they are now, back in the day, because they liked having like that good guy faction. But a lot of us 
who really like the, the dark, depressing style. No, not everyone gonna be like y'all, bro. So, see, the Tau get a lot of hate, and a lot of that hate isn't The good guy fraction, like it's, it's not bad to have at least one person. Perspective, but they one can have one nice person? Recently. They don't really fit in the 40k universe very well. They lack that super dark... Can we, can we really say nice, though? They Obey or die. <laughs> like, I mean, yo! They're not really nice, but it's like... So, we're gonna call them nice. Then we gotta call Superman nice. When he when when he was, like... When Superman was, uh... <laughs> ruining the entire world, he stopped doing okay, not just, one single inch of dude, violence in the whole world. Nice for their universe. Nah. Not dude, just not every one, person. Dude, yeah, not one lie. piece of violence when Superman was under control. Yeah. Batman was like... Dude, mm, this universe mm, is kinda... Kinda mm. down horrendous, bro. Like, Batman came in and was like, hold on. People gotta, people gotta do crime so we can stop them. I'm like, nah, Superman's bro. like, Superman, no, people should not do crime. There, there is no comparison. They either bro. obey or die. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he just evil in his world. Bro, in this world, bro, like, they nah, kind of like, they kind of like, they really evil for real. If I see them on the streets, I would smack them. But why people hating, though? Why people hating? Because they don't have an evil plot to conquer the world. But they kind of do, though. They, they just, they, just, they want to conquer it with peace. That's what I mean, like no, not with peace, with violence. You they, can't, you can't they, have one race like that. They trying to bring peace through violence, that and that's nice. That's nice to them. At a kind of high gothic level, the Imperium has. They don't have the weird kind of like grungy stuff Come that on, Chaos or say the Orcs do. And the Necrons and the Eldar have their own specific style as well. The Tau really do look like something out of Craft for Eldar and even that interesting too. That thing, it does. The uh, Craft for Eldar are kind of clean, well. but why does he have an There's anime that. thing on? There's also the tabletop problem. Uh, in tabletop, Tau are horrible at melee combat, but exceptionally <laughs> good Tau. at range combat. So they blast everyone from really, really far away, and they have a million rules to make it so that it's nearly impossible for you to get into melee combat. That does kind so of So it basically just forces you to bottleneck the game into one specific this game flat style, and Tau. which is gun to gun. And if you're doing gun to gun, no, you're going to win every weak. time. Because they're the they just sniping? And the Tau are really damn good at shooting. So That's me. It's one of those things that make the Tau generally. If I roll a one, it's a headshot. <laughs> if I roll any number, it's a headshot. I'm like, yo, that's me. One being a headshot is kind of fire. <laughs> but I'll say, like, what's it called? Dude, I'll have like a couple of towels in the back. Probably some like little orcs, put a little orcs in there. I might put some of them, um, what's those things? The Necrons. I might put them in the front so they can die a little bit, but they will regen later. Dude, me, cause you know me and my space world. No, I can't have Necron in my fleet after what they did to my boy. So you know, so it's it's it's, up, it's 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 war forever for me. But they little they little things now though. But I got me a little crab Eldars and some uh some assassinatums. You know what I'm saying? Oh, have yeah, have them. some on the side. And I might have a couple of towels, but the moment they start saying, you know, follow up my religion, <laughs> I have to bang yeah. them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, that, 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 that sounds like a little deep. For that, uh, both from style and such. But this is actually one of the things I wanted to end this video with, is that the towels, while they have picture. their issues, you should not be discouraged from playing them. I'll make plenty of towels. I think people will hate you Of course but. I will, but it's all generally in good fun. Anyone who legitimately doesn't want you to play a faction is an idiot. Nah, it's about he wilding with this one. He just said the towels are basically a B in combat. Cool Look what he wearing, bro. You Some like. B's on. In Warhammer, especially now, factions get better and they get worse. They grow and then they fall. You should only be playing what you think is cool. You like the look, you like the models. If you're talking tabletop, that is what you should be going for. Nah, bro, I'm trying to win. You think Freak you mean. Badass, I ain't pay all this money for these uh, the Marines so I don't get no money? So nah, much going they they, they said me and my space will be useless. I'll show them all. Every character they has a story, and there's a million stories to be nah, told. They said they're okay. The universe is vast <laughs> and exciting. And I need some great nights too, as horrible, That is the damn charm. And out of everything I've told you in these two videos, if there's anything you can take away is the reason why so many of us are so into this series and why we like it so much. Because why is it just a random so much variety, here? such an expansive universe, and so much that can be done, you can find yourself having a pretty great time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative. If you had to pay three thousand dollars, like bro, I'm hey, gonna be man. having a great time with those, bro. Hey man, you don't know say hey. Yo, shout out to my boy, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's definitely a sweet Hey, man. That little feminine energy right there. 
you know, guys, bro, you know what I'm saying? I know what y'all saying, like, oh, you know, me and my, like, yo, the Thai, the Thai Empire, bro, I never, I never rock with the Thai Empire, you know what I'm saying? Why, bro? Like, we, I, I used to call them over now, because sometimes I have a couple sneak leaks over there, too. You know what I'm saying? I have sneak leaks everywhere, even some sneak leaks. You know what I did? You know what I did? I got some sneak leaks for some orcs, too, man, like... Like them orcs, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm I got a couple sneak leaves, but sucks, that's bro. a that's a little the download, you know what I'm saying. The orcs like, be having no nah, huh? extra membrane. I be bro. I be having like you know I have the orcs on the download. Can't let everybody know, you know what I'm saying. But uh, there's some sneak leaves in the tower. I rock with them. We we trade weapons, but like people be trying to always go get find space wood. So hey, me and my space wood, we revolt and become our own planet. Hey yo, <laughs> they're gonna have a problem. Like, they're like yo, there's a new fraction, the wolves of space. Like move. the wolves of space, <laughs> the most unique name, the wolves of space. <laughs> Not the space wolves, the wolves nah, of space. Bro, that you know what I'm saying? Be, we hunt and grind for all that. Thing. Hey, now I'm still locked in with the the, the chaos for me. I'm still locked in with those. We chill. I know that the op. But like you know what I'm saying, deep times call for deep needs, bro. Nah, bro. Basically, everybody in here is the op. <laughs> Everyone in here, you might be the op sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shoot. Sometimes we be doing some crazy doing it this way, bro. Hey, man. Hey, guys. You know what I'm saying, yo. I hope you like the video. You know what I'm saying. Hey, one day I'm gonna get to the last. You know what I'm saying. When I when I put back on my armor days, you know what I'm saying. Go back, go back in that thing, cause I know how to find it now. <laughs> you know, when I get here, I would I'm gonna come, come out with a video about. It. You know what I'm saying? Tell you all how crazy the experience is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, but keep an eye out for that one. You know what I'm saying? It might, <laughs> it might be in your real form too. You know what I'm saying? What real form, bro? What real form? There's only there's only real part. Or seven foot form, bro. Come on, bro. Nah, bro. They haven't that yet. See, it took a lot of surgery to get back to my normal state, bro. Not me, though. I, I just use the transformation magic, you know what I'm saying? I had to keep my joint. But hey, you know what I'm saying, yo, this this was a good video, you know what I'm saying? Very, very like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we could have cut this more into parts, but hey, we wanted to we, we had y'all wait way too long, bro. So yeah. we had to throw the whole video out for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even though we were about that halfway through, we were about to like, hold on. Let's let's back out, but you know. <laughs> hey, I was like, no no no. We finishing this today. Today. But hey, sorry, sorry we wasn't uploading, you know what I'm saying? We got some we got some more explain videos coming in the works. You know what I'm saying? We'll probably do some explain videos about the uh, the, the single fractions going into the stream lead, like more detail. Some stories like some, some war uh, Yeah, uh, some war stories, stories about the like some stories of Warhammer stuff and some just like some other stuff. We gonna we're gonna get into more on that joint, you know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But hey, hope you like the video. I already said that but like, like comment, comment, subscribe. Do all the Come on. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard you peace, bro. bro. Ooh, vroom, yeah! It was a big one, y'all. Wow, wow.